This is it right here. This Ooh, is a real situation. Ooh. She, she got all these niggas suits. Ooh. She want all of them to fuck at night. Hmm. We got to the point where we don't know if it's a gangbang or one at a time. So we still, I'm out on the gangbang. I'm just yeah. letting you know. <laughs> like, I'm, out. I'm all the way out. There's only one dick in my situation. Yeah, I'm out on the gangbang. Dominatrix type shit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm out if that's the case. But if it's not, first of all, I don't know if I'm wearing that suit. Like, I'm not matching y'all niggas to fuck the same bitch. That's crazy. Y'all also five heartbeat shit. Like, I'm good, bro. I'm just good. And she want no. all y'all niggas to take her to pound town. Nah, I'm going to crack her ass to the next Sunday if I can go first. I mean, mm -hmm. I ain't And racist. I'm not wearing a suit, so well, I might I not think, even get the chance. I think the ball in the middle is going to last. He's done. He's, he's definitely going to last. He's not even <laughs> invited. Ooh, why yeah. does he invite that nigga? That made me question. Maybe I won't even fuck her now that I'm thinking about money. <laughs> oh, yeah. Born as hell. Yo, 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 yo. DJ, hit me. It's your boy Muggy, getting money that's more than likely. My name is Vaughn Brown, we're in the cutting this podcast, they call me Breeze. And, and this, this is OTS Podcast. Make some noise like noise. Yo. Back again. Yes, yes, live again, live again. How's everybody doing this evening? I mean, we got some special guests in the building, bro. All we got right. some special yes, you know we do. We, we got keep the homies. <laughs> we got the homie Sub Zero in this bitch, man. What's the good, homie Sub Zero. Good. What's going on, brother? You also bring your homie, Bank Boy Shady, you know what I'm saying, what's in the on? building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on? All Just love. Fellas, how y'all feeling today? Yeah, man. Yeah. Chilling, chilling. Can't complain, baby. Another day, another dollar. Mm -hmm. Shit, you know how we kick it. Uh, how's your fucking I mean, me? Going, I, I mean... It's except my week is kind of tying into my fuck out of here, so I don't want to get too deep into it. But like, man, y'all playing? Niggas is playing with the world, man. Like, what's we doing? Like, yeah, they fuck, bro. I had big, big plans these next couple of months, fam. I'm talking like shit that would be like, oh, yo, he really on his shit. But now I just gotta find a way to do it. Like, I'm not mad at it because now it's gonna force me to find out how I'm gonna do it another way. Like, fuck work. I'm gonna have to, yeah, work, work. Cause I still gotta get my shit done, but. That money was that was some that was some good easy money coming in. Yeah, you hear me like, whoo. Yeah, it was. Listen, bro, I've been out the loop. I've been out the loop, so I ain't even know. I ain't even peeped about to close down. Oh yeah, yeah, they about to call it. What you call it? You know what I'm saying? Niggas is living in motherfucking North Korea right now, but it's all <laughs> yeah, see, good. It's all good. You on the island? You yeah, on the island? We on the island, like they fucking. <laughs> What's up with you though, man? I'm I'm pissed. I mean, about I'm that. having That's a good week. I mean, week. compared to your fucked up ass week, nigga. Yeah, you know I mean, what I'm saying I got. Oh that. yeah, 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 yeah. Did I? I don't know if I said it, but uh, last week we got another one. Uh, rest in peace, Miss Mary. That's my best Dang. friend's mother. You know what I'm saying? So R. rest in peace, man. To her, man. And I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if I've been on and said it, but I definitely want to send my condolences. And you know, I love you, sis. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, you know what's yeah. Going on. Make sure you hug your loved ones. Hundred percent. Stop ones, holding man. these dumbass grudges over a piece of cake. Yeah. You feel me? <laughs> grudge ain't shit. Twenty yeah, word is bond. Bro. Word, fuck nice that. Stay, if you got a grudge, stay <laughs> right. away from me with that shit. Oh yeah. Hell yeah. But nah, I had a wonderful week. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that's always good news. I, like I mean, news. I, I, I I pulled up on that doctor. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, my 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 lady, she's with child. <laughs> okay. Again, but that's another story. But now nah, I'm having a boy. We ain't having no more girls oh, yeah, in this house. You know what I'm saying? Right. This is my third so, joint. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. I got yeah, hit that shout out to you. Shout, shout out. out. To I mean, now he can really be. We know we can call him Gunther now. Yeah, it's like yeah, no other. Yeah, yeah, that boy Bob. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck okay, it, you number three, Bob. I got one boy, one girl already. You know what I'm saying? You just coming in, you like just, you just on, around. Bro. You just around. You know what I'm saying? Who you oh, cousin? Man. But uh, how <laughs> how y'all doing, man? man? How's y'all week going, bro? What's Good, up, man? man. It's, it's Let been, me. You ain't had nothing busy. crazy pop off this week. Nah, nothing crazy. Just yet. working, regular yeah. shit. It's been busy. What about you, bro? How your week going, man? Working. Yeah, working yeah, the regular shit, shit huh? Regular. Yeah. But shit, it's, it's been an ill regular ass week. Yo, I mean, first, I'm just going to start it off with rest in peace to the homie King Vaughn, man. That shit's yeah, crazy. Yeah, that yeah. shit's breezy, that breezy. I mean, we got to start doing sad. better out, out here as black men. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I listened to the story, the shit, the way it went from the manager's side of the story, yeah, the way it went yeah, down, yeah. I was like, damn, that just sound like some regular shit. Yeah. Some I didn't video. see this. I didn't see Yeah, the, the interview with his manager. That's all that joint, too. Yeah. I didn't see the interview with the manager, but I definitely yeah, seen the video. Man. And then I seen the second video. Yeah, second video. It's amazing. like yo, that's some hood shit. Like it ain't really, it really didn't need to lead to no gun. Violence. But it's like, like it's just regular shit. I mean, yeah. it ain't regular, but it's like 
Nah, it was not normal. Was some, some it's not normal shit. It was like some fake shit. Like, yeah. bro, they at the club. They leaving the club. He said he basically was like, man, I ain't going home. I'm about to hit this other spot, go to the other spot, pull up. Somebody like bull right there. He get out the car, start well knowing like, him and get shot. It sounded like he went there just for that. Yeah, yeah. on the low. He just he ain't telling tell nobody. nobody. Yeah. But probably the niggas he was with that really with him. Like, yeah. Over here. Yeah. yeah, he probably over there. But they said he just like, bull was just right there. And then they just start scrapping. Got shot. Yeah, that shit. I mean, that shit is nuts. When you when you live in that lifestyle, that shit come with a lot of shit though, dog. I mean, like, and mm. when you got that kind of money, you shouldn't even be living. And don't get me wrong, nobody should die off a of rumble. Like, yeah. nigga, catch and it was a and nigga that he, he already, caught you slipping, he snuck you, he was beating you, he was beating your man up, so sneak him. And the like, thing, you ain't got the pop. The way his manager was putting it, it was like a nigga that he already know he can beat up. He just like the boy was talking so greasy, like I'm just gonna beat this. I'm yeah. gonna ball him up yeah. real quick. Yeah. Then his yeah, man, yeah, he was gonna yeah, young like, ball him, <laughs> and like. His man's just yeah couldn't take that. A lot of that. shit ain't. That's just go to show you a lot of shit ain't worth it, bro. Nah. You think it's just gonna be this? That be the times you be fucked over. Like you think some Nigga small shit, be some shit. big shit. You know what I mean? And he really caught him, cleaned him, and that's all it should have really been. I mean, if it, but them niggas play with this. This this shit is all different angles because it's so different than what it used to be. Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? When we grew up, how how old are y'all fellas? Twenty six. Okay, so y'all 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 about there. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Tricking. But when you growing up, you know what I'm saying? It was at the party. It was certain niggas with the guns. You know what I mean? You knew who had the straps in the party, bitch. Mm -hmm. Everybody didn't have the strap in the party. Yeah. You go to the spot now. All these little niggas are strapped, and ain't no telling where their mindset is at. You feel me? Like they ain't no real. It's no more such thing as a real shooter and a real killer. Like right. everybody's doing that shit right. and going with the consequence. These niggas is going to jail. I mean, you don't got no choice but to face the consequences. Yeah, you going to jail, bitch, for the rest of your life, probably. Yeah. And if not, at least a thirty he piece. Mike can get a self defense if he got a good lawyer. Nah, yeah. he didn't know. Oh, no, no, he can't because he, he wasn't yeah. fighting him. Yeah. He wasn't he in the fight. Yeah, yeah. He damn, yeah, yeah. he done up. He yeah. probably going to say, "I thought you were about to kill him." Some shit. Like that. Yeah, 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 whatever. Now. Yeah, that's what Kondo put it up. Kondo put it up. Right, right. Saying that that's what they're going to go for. Yeah, and that shit down south too. They ain't playing that shit down south, bro. You saw that they said that the fucking cops came out shooting everybody. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. on both sides. Yeah, yeah like, they, they just did. fucking yeah. start clapping niggas. Mm. They're like, like don't bring that shit over here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. wait for some shit like this all day. <laughs> <laughs> like they just shoot them all. <laughs> just start lacing shit. <laughs> Hell yeah, foolish. bro. Acting foolish. Hell yeah. Man. I don't know, man. I think R.I.P. the King Von. One hundred percent, man. I just think y'all niggas got to be careful what you doing, man. Like, I don't know what niggas is talking about or whatever, but. If my, I don't care, you know, he ain't with niggas, niggas ain't seeing him. But if I see my man and that, when you know a nigga and you know he on the bullshit, you know, like when the way he move is like, he did it quick. He stuck on that nigga quick. It happened real fast. So he, I can't blame he, niggas. He, 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 he couldn't even, niggas couldn't even gather nothing. But you gotta, once it happened, you gotta be more like diligent to go get up in that. For sure. Cause I'm going to get up in that about mine. Like, I don't, listen, bro. Nigga, you just, my man's a shot right now. Y'all niggas will have to shoot me too. Straight up, dog. I ain't got nothing else for you. That's like, what uh, that's what the manager was saying. Like niggas was going to go get the strap, but while they came back, nigga, the cops was just spraying everything. Yeah, like they yeah. just said the the cops yeah. was just like only person that got shot by like the bull is was the manager, the right? manager yeah. and King Von. Everybody else that got shot that night all got by shot cops. by the cops. The mm -hmm. cops was just lacing nigga shit. Imagine losing your man right like there. Like the whole crowd just pop. spraying shit. That nigga probably feel crazy right now, dog. Who the manager? Oh yeah, cause you know that's uh, YNW Melly manager too. I ain't know that. Boy. YNW Melly, the uh, murder on my mind yeah, nigga in jail. So in jail. yeah, and he fucking was fucking with Kodak on some management shit too. Oh, for so, real? Yeah, so like uh, nigga, all his artists is just like in some shit. Like that's yeah, what he was man, saying that he was about to. He was saying that this shit make him not even want to do this shit no more. He said he'd be bringing niggas up and then they die or go to jail. He was like he really thinking about not even fucking with the management shit no more. I should have had you like Nah, that. you just got to manage the right niggas. Right. He does. He's yeah. just managing all the wrong niggas. You think you had Kodak, YNW Melly, and King Vaughn. Like, like, you know dang. these niggas are super But you know active. what type of time they on, though. Yeah, yeah that's what I said. All his, you know these niggas all are super active. All his artists active. was 100% like, real It's not niggas. like they not like, active. Like, yeah. they, they active. Yeah. yeah. Not, it's active. not like they in a game and they just rapping. Nah, yeah. No, these niggas is active. I do this for money. I do this for this big ass bag that come with it. It really ain't about nothing else. Yeah. I still bust your ass. Yeah. Exactly. But he was saying he was thinking about quitting this shit. Like, I man. mean, if that's if, if he need time, I don't know about quitting. But if he needs some time to get his hair, because that but shit I can is see a how lot. That can fuck your yeah, head that up, shit's though. A lot, bro. You like, damn, is it that me? Shit's a lot. Like, could you imagine, like, <laughs> your, like 
What you if you manage a nigga, you build into some type of relationship. And he took with niggas him. to you the promised like, land. Like, he took all the niggas. Y'all rich. Yeah. Y'all rich. Y'all niggas is I rich. I heard all his homies, like most of his, not all of them, but a couple of them got like 50. They got signed deals that night for 50. Yeah, they G's. always got like, their label yeah, deal. That's why they was out anyway. Because he just got the label deal for his homies. And y'all already gave him 50 G walking up to the block. He video him here 50 for you 50 for yeah. you count his hand make that's sure he ain't forget than, niggas than, uh, what, like, oh what yeah you come here 50 get. Oh, shit. Right, right. that's what a, what a lot of niggas get when they first deal man. yeah yeah a lot of niggas, niggas ain't getting 50 niggas. Shit, it's just it's fucked up it's the, the you getting in the door yeah yeah shit some niggas ain't getting 50 some of niggas getting 15 some niggas getting 10 50 for a label you might as well take that I was just watching some John with Petey Petey said like when The Rock broke up Dame Dash tried to give him 15,000 to sign cause they was like him and Hov, they can take whatever yeah. artist they want. It's just what art, whatever artist want to go with who. Mm-hmm. So he said Dame offered, offered him 15. He's like, bro, I'm already getting more than that at night, but show. Like, 15 racks with Petey Crack after, after the, 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 the Rock break up? Petey Crack was, that Petey Crack. Petey Crack. Not motherfucking the Petey Crack now. No, no, no. Not even though Petey Crack still got heat, but like when Petey Crack was on fire, you think he taking 15 racks on fire? 15? I don't know. Forget about it. I was like, damn, but he said he ain't. That's the last time you saw Dane. He tried oh, to get him drunk and make him sign for 15 racks. I believe that. That's so grimy. I believe that. <laughs> and then That's he so said, grimy. when he was coming out the building, he sent somebody else out there, like, all right, how about 20? <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's, that's when he said, when well, motherfucking. What, what's the shit? Flipside was like number one on the charts at the time. Like, Bro, you guys. Like, that was that Petey crack. That's Damn, what I'm saying. Like, Damn, that's how Petey ended bad. up with that Neo shit. But anyway, RP King Von. Watch out for them bad contracts. Keep your yeah, keep your company close and tight. I mean, what the fuck else? What, the, what you had in news this week? You ain't got too I much got going something. on over there. Something. I got a little something. Hold on, what I got going on? So all right, boom, I got a question, right? Are y'all brothers in relationships? Y'all, y'all single? What's your situation right now? If you don't mind me asking. I'm in a relationship. Okay. Yeah. So this is more geared to to the to you to you guys, right? I'm saying well, I don't got no old lady for me, but <laughs> listen, right? You want a date, right? Okay. Now, you know your lady got friends. You feel me? Y'all kicking it. Mm-hmm. Y'all at the bar. You pull up on your lady. <laughs> bar. Oh, yeah, you pull up on your lady. My nigga look Zelda. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Down there at the bar. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You pull up on your lady. You try to show her a good time. It's her lunch hour. Happy hour. Just not even her lunch hour. It's happy hour. She just got off a long day of work. She trying to loosen up the hills. You know you're gonna break her back soon as y'all get to the crib. Mm. She said, "You're not getting none of this, none of these cheeks if you're not paying for my friends." Now this is your lady. This is not no lady of how long. This is your woman, my nigga. Like three year type joint. Like your woman, my nigga. Mm-hmm. Stupid your woman, shit. my nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna just say this right now, and my girl probably watching right now. First of all, she's never gonna say that. She's gonna say, "Fuck them hoes." Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. And she's not. She's not even gonna let me pay. Right. Right. <laughs> right. 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 That's the guy. Hypothetically, hypothetically speaking, yeah. yeah. If your woman that you I'm, love, I was in a situation like this before, and I did not pay for them hoes. Okay. Mm. What would be your reasoning for that? Because I am a real nigga. <laughs> I'm not, I'm, you're not, like, you're, I ain't no simp. You ain't about to you ain't about to play the pimp game on me. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. You can't pimp the pimp. Respe- right. I'm not mad at that. I respect them. How about you, but brother? What is your time, uh, I was saying like three years, you should already know by now. Like, <laughs> like do you know who you in a relationship with? <laughs> like you know what you doing with that right? <laughs> oh, oh, you stupid. How about you, brother? What you what's your stance on this? <laughs> Just a simple fact that she gonna come. Like I'm not giving you no cheeks unless you pay. Right. Dad, right there for it is you're That's not, the you, quickest way to yeah, not get, get it with nothing. <laughs> if you with one friend ain't say none of that ain't say ask for shit. I might have paid for you and your friend. Yeah, right. Right. you talk about friends. Oh, as soon as it's two of them, they're together. Yeah, you feel right. me? Right. Like, and you together. asking off top. Yeah, that's all, not even asking. Like, like, like threatening. No, like you right. don't get this shit. Let you do this. Fuck you. Like, I don't need a debt. Right. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know it's crazy. That one friend paid for my lunch. He actually took me out for to a lunch date uh-huh. on my uh, what was it? My my twenty fourth birthday. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Listen, man. Don't pay. <laughs> Wait, I got one more thing. Go ahead. Not I, that I, it matters. What kind of lunch you talking about? Somebody, like, we talking know, about some McDonald's? Nah, nigga, might get down on my, uh, y'all might can get down on my mm-hmm. McDonald's tab. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking y'all ain't getting no meals though. Y'all talking happy hurry? hour, drinks and appetizers. You know what happy hour? Drinks and appetizers, nigga. We in here well, getting lit. That- Happy hour shit. What, what, so it's like I'm saying is uh, what's what's going on after the happy hour? Who you want home to break your lady no, back? No, nah. She got to bring somebody too. <laughs> One of them. 
<laughs> one of them bitches is coming too. You better be ready for that. I like that. I'm not. Ready. <laughs> Listen, I, I just don't. I don't oh, see. Man. I don't see. It's the threat for me. That was more so why I asked. Yeah, like, it's the threat for me. Like you know that. what I'm saying? Like, like, who you think I am? I'm not worried me. about your cheeks that bad. Exactly. I'm gonna fuck you again before tonight. You yeah, be my girl. I'm gonna right. fuck you again. Fuck you I don't need right. your pussy tonight. Right. You are gonna be horny as shit because you drunk and you are gonna be mad. Mm -hmm. so, you know what I mean? So, so that's how I'm coming. I'm coming with negotiations. Like okay, I got you my got, you got stipulations. So you got stipulations. <laughs> you saying hell no. You saying no because of the threat. I'm saying no because of the threat. I'm mm -hmm. saying they can get, get on the, the fast food. Yo, all right. They can get on the fast food tab, and one of them bitches is busting it open. That's not a, that's not unreasonable. About, this is not that. <laughs> this is happy hour. Right, we could do. This is happy hour. <laughs> you want to spend a bean? Past five a guys tab is crazy. A, a tab is a B twenty. <laughs> A tab is a bean 20 on happy hour. You know that. If it's three or four, you're on a happy hour tab. We're going to no happy hour. We're going to get a bottle. I'm not doing two. 120. We're up. Yo, you go. Yo. Listen, Just think about it. $5 beers. $5 shots, right? $5 beers, $5 shots. A drinker is going to drink like three shots, two beers. What's that? 30? 25. It's four or five. That's And then the tip. That's a buck twenty. I'm not doing. Not that including the appetite. No. No, I don't oh, know these. Yeah, bitch. No. You gotta tell me which one busting it open. Nah, nah, nah. You, I'm not even doing for that. You got a point because I know what you're just about to say. Um, <laughs> I stop. You see, I'm first of all, <laughs> these hoes really try you. Yo, exactly. yeah, right, yeah, they try yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, they be ordering the most expensive shit, shit Take on the menu. To a mile. And it be the friend. It don't be a girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It be the her home girl. friend. It be her home girl. That's why you going to McDonald's. What you going to get? That fucking big and tasty. They don't even nah, got that no for, more. I can pay for <laughs> what? Big and tasty. If you tell me, if you tell me, babe, I'm going to see my friends at the happy hour. If you give me a simple babe, I'm going to see my friends. If you can come through, I might break them off a little something. something. I might take the check. But you telling me that you're not going to give me no pussy because I'm not paying this bill? Oh, yeah, nah. Bitch. Yeah. Goodbye. Get out. Go some. I don't, uh, Damn. That's, do you. That's, that's foul. But all right. Speaking since ahead, you the single, ahead. man. Go ahead. Single man, you out? You got one of your Jones. You've been fucking with her for a while. You ain't here yet, but like, you on, you, you well on your way. Right. She hit you up on her birthday saying that she needs you to get this suit. You know what I'm saying? Red flag. She already ordered the suit. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be you and five other niggas. She want to take all five of y'all niggas out on the date. <laughs> it's for her birthday. Like y'all all going out as a motherfucking big ass group. All this to yeah, me on the yeah, phone? yeah. Oh, okay. But she said she need all y'all to motherfucking beat at the end of the night. I'm going first. I'm not wearing. First of all, how do you finagle I, the first though? I don't know if I'm wearing the suit. Number one, so she might not even fuck with me. I don't know these niggas. I'm in competition with these niggas because I'm trying to fuck you first. She put you in a suit for competition. She Look, want. She want. So the chick. This is a real story. Hold on. Want I got you the to, picture. It's Wait, five what? niggas. It's five right, niggas. Yeah, okay, hold on. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I got the picture, we, just into it. we did just dive into it. Yeah, Pre-production yeah. to do the, that. That's right there? Yeah, this is it right here. This Ooh, is a so real situation. She, she got all these niggas suits. Oh. She want all of them to fuck at night. Hmm. We got to the point where we don't know if it's a gangbang or one at a time. So we still... I'm out on the gangbang. I'm just yeah. letting that be known. <laughs> like, I'm, nigga, out. I'm all the way out. There's only one dick in my situation. Yeah, I'm out on the gangbang. Dominatrix type shit. Yeah, yeah. So I'm out if that's the case. But if it's not... First of all, I don't know if I'm wearing that suit. Like, I'm not matching y'all niggas to fuck the same bitch. That's crazy. Y'all also five heartbeat shit. Like, I'm good, bro. I'm just good. And she want no. all y'all niggas to take it to pound town. Nah, I'm going to crack her ass to the next Sunday if I can go first. I mean, mm -hmm. I ain't And racist. I'm not wearing a suit, so well, I might I not think, even get the chance. I think the bull in the middle is going to last. He's done. He's, he's definitely going to He's last. not even <laughs> invited. Ooh, why does he invite that nigga? That made me question. Maybe I won't even fuck her now that I'm thinking about money. <laughs> money. Yeah. money. I'm sitting here long. thinking about that shit. I might not even. Why is he there? <laughs> I don't know. Bro. Show me his bank she statements. Likes a, she likes a variety. Show me her bank. Show me his bank statements. Oh, I don't. Dude. I need to see his bank statements to, to I mean, know why I he's here. I don't even think she worried about that. She taking five niggas on a date. She oh. paid for it. That bitch. Well, why is he there? That nigga look like. Oh my god, he just because bro. She's like a good variety. She got. The but I'm going head, first. I'll go first, nigga. This nigga. <laughs> White nigga, yeah, she just fucking lining them up. Mm -hmm. like, either way, so I'm guessing y'all niggas. Hey, ain't check gone. this out, y'all niggas clowns. <laughs> y'all niggas clowns for wearing them suits. Y'all niggas clowns for sharing that pussy. Hey, I might but go. If, what if she cutting? I go though? for the food because uh, I like paid to eat. for it. Hell yeah, it's the you gonna wear food. the suit though? 
You gotta wear the suit. I don't know if I wear the suit. My name is Sub Zero, bro. I'm not wearing that suit. If you what? No. If I go there, I'm going there for, to have fun. Like exactly. Telling every last four of them niggas that y'all niggas, niggas still here by the before end of they this go night. That. I'm gonna shoot this shit up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> y'all better, y'all better, better you know saying get them out of here. So you gonna try to run all the niggas off? So you just hit them. Them boy getting flamed the whole night. I'm trying to make them fun. <laughs> Goofy Conor ass McGregor out of right there. Yeah, yeah, Conor right, McGregor, right. Right. Oh, no. beat your ass. ass. <laughs> I mean, like I don't yeah, know. Like the glasses, like, I might even flame her just off the simple fact that no one else is gonna do that in that room. Yeah. They all gonna be dick riding. Yeah. He look like a pig, that nigga right there. He definitely do. Yeah. That's crazy. Like this is the type of time she on. Like I'm taking all these niggas out for my birthday. Her bag probably hefty though to be oh, doing yeah. some shit like that. Yeah. Cause you got the brick now. If you breaking me off about ten racks to go do that. Oh yeah. Oh, five ten. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll be the clown in the suit. It's all good, baby. And I'm not, I'm still Shiny. fucking first though. For sure. I'm still you fucking got first. To, man. Shiny. <laughs> you got you, man. This shit fresh polished. Feel like a thumb. <laughs> yo, yo, ugly as hell. Yo, yo, nah. I, listen, I'll go first. If I could, how do you finna go to first? You gotta do something like different. Border ridges of a phone. Oh, what you say, bro? Yeah, if shit. you gotta, <laughs> yeah, if you gotta finna go to first, you gotta do something original. Like my man was saying, you gotta do something to stand out. I mean, like, how y'all, how y'all finna like go in the first place, bro? Microphone. <laughs> bond with just a, a, a lighter skin. Like if you had like a a Manila vi- microphone, that'd be that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah how y'all finagle in the first, the I'm first the, slot, I'm, bro? I'm, I'm just, Yo, you said you fall on the strap for niggas. <laughs> like, listen, yo, y'all niggas still here. <laughs> Shit is over. <laughs> Go home. <laughs> we, we, we ain't, we good. <laughs> I'm letting niggas know where I stand because I'm not going to be in there with the suit on and they going to be like, damn, this nigga yeah. ain't got to wear the suit. Right. Yeah, she going to let me stay. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, I'm fucking first. Yeah. I'm good, fucking good night. First. Good night, nigga. I'll see y'all later. Right. Y'all let me know how y'all was but after I bust her fucking back up. Now, I know a couple of them niggas is going in there together. Like, come on, bro. Oh, let's 100%. take her to pound town, 100%. man. <laughs> come on, bro. Definitely Conor McGregor. And she's an attractive Conor McGregor young lady. and the Asian bull is definitely going like, come on, we can tag team her, bro. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so. She's not even, she don't got to be doing it. But if I know some foul want. things probably happened to her that night. Oh, that's man. all I'm going to say about that. But you, you ain't got you said so you ain't you ain't gonna try to finagle the fur you just going for the good time. Yeah. Nah, I ain't mad at that. That's woman empowerment right there, so man. So what's up? Speaking of crazy shit, what the fuck be wrong with motherfuckers and they brain, dog? I just don't understand how people head be functioning, right? So you know Jay Z is Jay Z, right? Like when you hear the name Jay Z, you just know that that's not a person you get next to. Oh yeah, unless, like you're not unless walking up and die for the shit. Yeah. So this motherfucker not only thought he was going to do some other shit, he did some other shit. Oh man. He snuck on his plane in LA without a ticket to meet the nigga. And it's a woman. I think her name is Yasmina Payton. Wait, there's a woman that did this? Yasmina Payton. All right, y'all can get that. I, can, I don't see a nigga doing it. That's nuts. It's nuts either I mean, way. It's nuts man. either way, but you know like, what I'm it's more nuts if a nigga do that. It's way more nuts if a nigga do it. I'm not yeah. disagreeing with yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> name but Yasmina? That's what it says. She, she Yasmina. Yasmina Payton. Ratchet ass name. She must be from Philly. <laughs> yeah, I like. Uh, it looks like she, I don't know. If we're not in Chicago, but it happened in LA, so I don't know where she. All from. right. Uh, yeah, she jumped on a plane. TSA got her ass. You feel me? She got uh, arrested on felony charges. It happened on American Airlines. You feel mm. me? Uh, oh, they said he got. Jay Z was caught. Was all the Jay Z fan was ultimately caught when someone spotted her ducking under the ropes at the boarding door in Terminal Three of O'Hare International Airport. A ticketing <laughs> agent was informed about Peyton's illegal entry onto the flight, leading to her arrest. So, bitch, you just dumb. So, she got onto the plane or she didn't? Yeah, she got on the plane. Yeah. But she made it onto the plane. There yet. I don't know if they, they don't get that. It ain't that many details in this room. It says, uh, Peyton told authorities how she pulled off the caper following her arrest, revealing how she. Uh, that's not saying shit. She got by security. <laughs> and she got, she got by security and checkpoint without raising any suspicion. So, that was her first in. And then she fucking dipped under the fucking. People was crazy as hell. Man, listen, man. Stay away from them fucking things. But wait, this is the best shit, though. If your ass ain't got no money, you better not be trying to sneak to see no motherfucking Jay-Z because her bail is five racks. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, man. All I got, so shit. it leads me to a question for all you gentlemen I will pose in this room. No order you have to answer. Your cousin, who you know is crazy as hell, <laughs> call you. She almost at the bail. Yeah. She need 500. She almost there. You feel me? Like, she almost at the five racks. If you give her 500, she can get out of jail. And you, but, like, you don't, 
You don't got it, but you ain't hurting if you give it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't rich, but like 500 ain't really going to kill you. You feel me? That type of shit. Yeah. It's not killing me. What is y'all going to do? But you, you know your cousin now. Yeah, you know your saying. cousin. This depends on which time this was. Like, nigga, did you do this shit last year? <laughs> you got to. You got to. <laughs> y'all believe your ass this time. <laughs> so you got to yeah, jog your thoughts. It depends on where we stand. I told you stop doing this dumb shit. Yeah, it depends. And you know I got the money. Right. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you got to let a nigga sit. Oh, yeah, for sure. I done bailed some family members out of jail, man. And I had this one cousin went back to jail doing, doing the same. Yeah, yeah. That should have <laughs> like, doomed you. That should have make you not want to do it for nobody else. Like, That's the sad part. Money. I'm out the second time. Yeah. 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 Like, bro, so I'll um, see you yeah. get out. You see, you said you got to wait and see what happens. What, you, what, you, what about you? What you going to do? Man, I got to see what that phone call like. I got to see that phone call like, yo. That energy. Yeah. Yeah, I feel that. Gives the energy high. Sit your ass in jail. He, he just nah, nah, nah. I might, I might belly him out. You oh, you know mean like man? if he high? Okay, okay, the I get you. High, I might belly him out. I thought you meant high, like yeah, nigga. I just went up in the room to see Jay Z and shit. Cause like, <laughs> oh yeah, nah. That's, that's, that's what I, I thought know. you meant when yeah, you said energy that, high. Like yeah. that, yeah. yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah, bro. Come on, belly you out, bro. Right. Fuck that nigga Jay Z. Yeah, like, word, word. Uh, word. I, I, I fuck with Jay Z, but um, yeah, that. that it's the vibes is low. Oh man, cuz. Oh man, cuz. You're gonna be sitting for a while, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like, keep your city near. What are you doing, Shay? But fuck it, where are we? Oh, oh, no, you got to let the other oh, guys answer, brother. I'm just gonna, just gonna bail him out, cuz. <laughs> Ain't even nothing else to it. Yeah. Here, bro. Yeah. Give me I my mad 500 though. back. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> give me two fifty, bro. I'm not even trust. I'm yeah, not, yeah. I don't even trust even... niggas like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. give me two fifty, bro. <laughs> right. You don't even want to be waiting on that five. Yeah, like you have a reason not be fucking yeah, with you yeah. over some dumb shit. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas don't want to give you twenty dollars, yeah. and they'll yeah. avoid you over it too. <laughs> niggas uh, disappear. They'll avoid you, get mad when you ask them. Right. Leave like the you country. Why you need this twenty? Cause nigga, I gave it to you, nigga. That's why. Like nigga, did you? I hate when niggas think you got some just because you got some couple dollars. You don't want your couple dollars, like my nigga. I need my couple dollars. I right. gave you that couple dollars, bro. I need that back. But you know, anyway, it's time to get into some uh, shit. I just give people shit. I don't know. Time to get into some music, bro. Okay. What's okay. Your, you want to play first? You want to play this track? You want to play your John? You sent me two Johns over. Um, okay. Let me play, play my John. It's uh, it's called Me and Mo- Me and More. Yeah, Me and More. Future and Future Future Phantom. All right. Okay. All right, all right. Me and More. There it is, baby. On OTS. It's just 
different. We back, we back, OTS yes, podcast. Yes, yes, baby, it's your yes. boy Moogie getting money. That's more than likely. My name and matter of fact, Brown. while I'm right, oh yeah, Juan Brown, of course. We got the homie Sub Zero on the building. Yo, you know see, it. Before I get into anything, I want to make sure y'all niggas come out November fourteenth. We fucking with uh, Craig Beast Lynch, on the, yeah, Beast Craig on the beats. beats. Yeah, you know what I mean, we'll be you know there. We're doing interviews media. and potting and shit. And We're gonna be doing it. Our media with you overdose dot com. Shout out to that brother. You know, yeah. we just had Muhammad on here. Yeah, yeah, day, yeah. You know definitely, definitely. And the ball, little psycho. You know what I'm saying? What nice as up? fuck. And uh, yeah, we're going to be there, busting it up, trying to figure out how we're going to get some of this free weed. And we got to figure out <laughs> how the fuck is going to win this beat battle. We got to yeah, make sure yeah. the acoustics is right. Yeah, the mm. acoustics got to be right. So what you, I mean, you, you got to need, you, I mean, I, I want to see some action. I don't want to be good. If we do a media coverage, I got to be honest. And I, I don't want to be like too honest. But Listen, if bro, nigga shit whack. Bro, I need one of these microphones. Not even whack. I just saying, I don't like that shit. Oh, I should, yeah. You should oh, be yeah. able to say you don't like that shit. Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Without, up, without, yeah. You got to the crowd more than anything. Yeah. What but something about that. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all like right. that? <laughs> no, I said, I need one of these kind of microphones <laughs> and walk around with like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got to be a motherfucking reporter shit. On a like, Nard Wars. Channel 6 News. <laughs> 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 like, yeah, it's becoming crazy. <laughs> but anyways, man, listen, we got the Holy Sub-Zero in the building. We got Bank Boy Shady in the building. Yes, yes. And fucking, y'all got an event on the 14th too, man, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been trying to get to y'all joints, but every time y'all Y'all got a bit. I'm booked to go to another shit. <laughs> like, I'm like, bro, why did they keep picking the same dates? Me? I was definitely want to another one. one too. I, I wanted to go to that the drink water shit. Oh yeah, I had an event that night, same night, same exact time. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah. But yeah, so man, the, tell what's, us what's, about yeah, your what's event that you got. This, is, um, this is presented by uh, a brand I'm working for now, Dope TV. Okay. Um, actually, bringing my brand who got the juice. Mm-hmm. To life, we're bringing it in as a concert series. Oh, okay, that's and, dope. Um, the first one will be, like you said, November fourteenth. It's right. going down at seven p.m. Performances start at seven thirty. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be lit, yo. We got Poppy O coming through. Yeah, Poppy O coming uh, fresh off his single. You know what yeah, I mean? Le- leeches and shit. Leeches, that shit yeah. hard. I seen that remix video mm-hmm. with the boy. Uh, what the fuck is it? Ot the real? I'm yeah. saying nice as fuck. Mm-hmm. Going viral as fuck. And I got um, a Philly artist um, by the name of Young Shotty. She's mm-hmm. been doing, making a lot of moves. All right. I mean, she's been down in Atlanta doing her thing right now. All right. That shit sounds like it's going to be a good time, man. Make sure y'all go check that joint out. Check if y'all make out, the art joint, because that shit way up trending anyway. If y'all stay yeah, in, wherever you y'all at, man. Philly on show some love, man. Show some love to the scene, man. We need I, I money. Said the word, I said the word last week. <laughs> I can't think about it. But, you know, yeah. we, it's an ecosystem. That's the word yeah, I was looking for. Yeah, feed the ecosystem. Yeah, right? man. South Jersey, Philly, Tri-State, all that, man. It's a big ecosystem, man. But yeah, man. But mainly Jersey because I'm tired of niggas acting like, you know what? I just got to say this real quick before you get into the whole. I know we do, we're do. we about to get into the interview portion of the shit. Yeah. But I'm tired of niggas acting like Jersey don't got no identity. Me you go somewhere, niggas act like we either die at Philly or die in New York. I don't like that, my nigga. God, I don't man. like that. I don't like that. I'm not from neither one of them places. Yeah. From Jersey, we do shit in Jersey. We got boosts, we got Panzerottis. You don't get your, that's Jersey shit, nigga. Don't go ahead. Right. Just go ahead with all that. For nigga. sure, for sure. They, they, we definitely know our own identity. We don't even but got a fucking team. Most of that shit, we ain't got no fucking venues. Nigga. That's if for we sure. had a venue. That's for sure. It'd be different. Yeah. Bro, they close everything sure. out this bitch. Be thinking South Jersey, of, when they think yeah. of Jersey, they think South of North Jersey. Hundred percent. Yeah. And North Jersey 100%. be following that New York way. Yeah, so that yeah. Mad two tone do rags. South Jersey is real different. South Jersey, different. very very different. Yeah, yeah. you get it's the country. It's, it's a lot of it's, they pro, like this yeah. shit is so country out here, but it's, it's smack in the middle of Jersey. It's a lot of different styles down here in South Jersey, North Jersey. Yeah, it's basically, all the same. If you don't live yeah, down here, you or don't. They make, or they make a lot of club music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, down here, yeah, I mean, club music. I mean, it's still a thing, but it really, really died down. Yeah, yeah. everything different down here. You can find a lot of different. Minutes, yeah. Thirty-five minutes. Away nigga, stop acting like that. You know what I'm saying? We, yeah. I'm from Jersey. When I say you from, oh, you near Philly? No, nigga, I'm from Jersey. I am near Philly, but I'm from. Let's talk about Jersey first. Mm-hmm. Then we can talk about. Bro, Philly. all we need is a venue, bro. I got a venue not, where I, niggas I don't can don't really with you. do they. They trying to dress area? Camden up. You see, they trying to dress Camden up a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if they get a venue somewhere in that area. I mean, they got a couple joints, but niggas always shooting and shit. Yeah, I'm saying. I heard nigga got shot. 
but then they get shot at mangoes like last week or some shit. Yeah, yeah. they been shot like I don't know about last week, but I know constantly, it was recently. Bro, they always getting shot. Somebody always getting shot at mangoes. Yeah, like somebody always getting shot. At niggas right is never doing yeah, shit my, there. My, one of my DJs, one of my <laughs> never DJs doing works shit there. there. Yeah, I mean, one yeah. of the DJs I work with, he works there. Yeah, and, yeah I mean, yeah, I don't feel like. But see, that's why. <laughs> bro, it's like, yeah, bro. You only can do so much if niggas get shot here every week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, ain't no real artist Shit, probably coming I'm, through. I'm, I'm Nobody. Good. I'm good. The only nigga that came through Camden was like Kiss and like Jim Jones. The Kiss did come through that joint. Yeah, yeah. You know how like, he like the only big artist that came through Camden because like, you know how he come through up. Camden. Yeah, Kiss came to yeah. Kiss and Jim Jones came to Bronson. That is some of the craziest shit ever. I don't think no, that's because I think he came out to Bronson a few times too. Yeah, yeah. Bronson, Bronson used to be a hot spot. Yeah, man. Was, when El Portugal it was first kind of like a it was, Bronson was kind of like a music hub. And yeah, stuff. hell yeah. A lot of a lot of celebrities came through there. I was like, yeah, it was a couple years ago. My boy, my boy, Tone, shout out to uh, NJ Hip Hop One, man. You know, where is Bond? You know, I just. Jersey got identity. That's all I wanted to say. But you know, we get into the interview portion. You want to start with me? Yeah, sure. I, I can kick, kick it off. All right, Sub Zero producer. Yes, sir. You got the. I mean, where'd you start, bro? Like, man, you start producing. I started producing when I was twelve years old. Twelve mm-hmm. years old. I was in Philly. I was living in Philly. And um, what you start on Fruity Loops? No, I started on some shit online. The oh, MTV online shit? shit? Nah. <laughs> it was some weird shit. I forgot the <laughs> name of it, yo. And it was like all green dots. And you just made the beat with the green dots. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that shit was so ass. But no, that was the first time like I started doing it like by myself. And I just wanted to do it on mm-hmm. my own. Mm-hmm. My first time making beats was on FL. It was on like FL... It wasn't even FL. It was Fruity Loops 2. Uh, it wasn't even Loops FL yet. It was Fruity Gee. Loops 2. The first one, it came with the sequencer and just the sequencer. Uh-huh. The second one, it came with the sequencer. And then it came with the playlist where you could set everything up. All right. But um, it was horrible. <laughs> was, um, it was horrible. Um, my stepdad, my stepdad, my stepfather at the time, he was a rapper. Mm. And, uh, and that's how I learned because he, he was just, he was just like being a living room, just like, just playing with it, mm. making beats with it. And then like later on, FL3 came out and I really wanted to play with it. I'm like, yo. This shit different now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit different yeah. now. You got everything. What FL is today is what what you had back then. Yeah, you know I mean, in FL four. That's when yeah, you know I mean, things really start picking up for me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you need deep in this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, I used to sell. Full surface mixtapes back. Oh shit! <laughs> Cassidy and Swiss Beats. My pot hit my step. My stepfather at the time. Yeah, you know I mean, th- th- that's what they, that was the click he he would be with. Oh, it's talking around full surface yeah, and Cassidy in there. Full surface Cassidy. Swiss Swiss would be in Philly and everything. Oh shit! So I got a, I So got you a, a Philly too. native? Yeah. I'm from okay. Philly, yeah. All right. I got a question. Um, what? So you said Fruity Loose One was horrible. I was just talking to one of my mans recently, and they were saying like the same shit. What gave you the discipline to really want to like stick that shit out? Cause you know, a lot of motherfuckers was fucking with it and then just was like, music has always been around me. Um, my father was a DJ, okay. you known throughout Philly, mm-hmm. Camden. He used to DJ a lot of Rutgers parties back in the, in the early nineties. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh man. Heard some fucking Heard, stories. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Heard Definitely. some fucking stories, man. College in the 90s yeah. in Jersey, I can only imagine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That that only. Shit used to be real That's why I be popping. hating when the old heads be she bitching about us having fun. Y'all yeah. niggas was bugging. If you yeah. my parents' age, you was growing in the 90s, y'all were wildin'. Bro, I heard Freak Nick niggas was fucking outside. Nigga, they were. You ain't hearing <laughs> they was doing it. Nigga, that was niggas real. ain't fucking outside no more. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas was fucking outside. The Greek day was fucking outside. Like, Same y'all thing like, like, like um, Y'all like, y'all around. A whole lot of people like. <laughs> right. Same like, it's a lit yeah. function. Yeah. Yeah. Tootsie roll. Tootsie oh, like, nigga, what the fuck y'all niggas on? Yeah. Niggas out here really fucking. Right. But nah, man, we get sidetracked. Yeah. yeah. What was you saying, bro? Um. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Now he said he was running around with full surface. I was yeah. running around with full surface for a little bit. I was just I was just selling mixtapes. I mean, and then um, I remember this one time. It was a studio. Uh, what was it? Broad and Allegheny. And it's my first time seeing a mix for it. Oh, so you was really in the jump. Yeah, I was yeah. really in the jump. <laughs> yeah. Yo, after like niggas was done recording and everything, I made the engineer teach me how to use the mix board. He, I made him teach me how to be, uh, teach me how to be an engineer. Right. I'm like, yo, this is what I want to do, and I fell in love with it. And he's like, yo. Doing this right here, he said, this right here make you a lot of money, a whole lot of money in life. He said, this is the most important job when it comes to music, being able to record somebody. He said, you're already getting started. He said, you're already making beats. He said, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> you ass. <laughs> but at least you started. You started. Right, right, right. You're young. Right. You got time. And um, as I got older... I still ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got um I moved to New Jersey when I was about fourteen years old. I mean I lived all over the country. Mm. But I moved to New Jersey when I was fourteen years old. Um and I had this group of friends. I mean one of them was my boy Tyrone and uh he also made beats. And he was nice. Right. And I was still ass. Which probably gravitated to How many years, how many years you was you? I was, I was in like. Well, well, fucking with the Fruity Loops. You was in like. Fucking with the Fruity Loops. I was like maybe four years in, three years in. Uh, you still early. I was still early. Yeah. And then I wasn't really messing with it like that because I, I, was, I was in school. Right. You know what I mean? And I was, I was young. So homework, 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 homework. You know, mom's is on you for real, for real. Uh-huh. And then I was moving a lot. Yeah. I moved a lot as a child. Okay. Um, I was in, lived in North Carolina, South Carolina, here in Jersey, Philly, mm-hmm. back and forth to Philly. You know what I'm saying? It was a little, was a little hectic. When I got settled right here in Jersey, uh, things started picking up for me. Okay. I started uh, being able to practice more when it got me a uh, fucking. Uh, 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 the, uh, the keyboard controller got me an MPC. I was nice. Right, right. <laughs> right. I was nice. <laughs> and then um, my senior year of high school, this is like when my life kind of changed for real, for real, with music. Um, I took a flight to Seattle. In middle of school, I was going for like two weeks. Damn. My teachers, but but it was dope though. My teachers just said like they all sent me like all my homework and all my classwork and shit. I was only I was only out there to go do a music video to go shoot a music video uh, with an artist that did a song a song of one of my beats. Was this a big artist or no. nah? Just as no, an artist. Just a, Local artist. Shit, to get out of school. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. Her, name, yeah. her name's uh, Shelly too. Okay. Right. She's dope. Real, real dope. She sung. Mm-hmm. And I mean, the record came out good, and mm-hmm. the video came out good. All right. And I mean, I showed my teachers and everything. They used to fucking play it for all the fucking classes. <laughs> and shit. Yeah. Like I even went as far as to making a fucking rap <laughs> history class. I don't remember how that shit went. <laughs> <laughs> you were just that deep in I your mean, bag. So did you, get, you, you ain't ever really getting to the spin. Ah. Uh, uh, Young I did. Young. Young I did. And I'm like, it just wasn't for me. Yeah. And I was alright. Yeah. And I was alright. And I was alright. And I was actually alright. My mom was fucking surprised. Yeah. That I was yeah. All right. They always are. But she they... kinda wasn't. She was like, Yeah. I used to rap. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she gave you. Yeah. 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 You're like, your dad used to rap too. I was like, oh, all right. I remember the first time my mom walked around the corner yeah. and see me rapping. She was so shocked. Oh she man. I didn't mm-hmm. know you could do that like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can. Oh, shit. But um, go ahead. What you, was about, um, to, what you was about to say? No, I'm, I'm, you got Oh, me? Question. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, I know you got Oh, my bad. You were still going? 
Was you still going with your story? I didn't mean to cut you off, brother. Um, I was going to ask you about who got the juice. Um, How'd you even get into that? Like, you went from yeah, producing yeah, to... Skip, yeah. Um, what happened was I got into management. I wanted to learn the business aspects of the game. Mm-hmm. Um, as you know, I was with uh, Hype City for a minute. Yeah. And so you was on Hype City first before yeah. you did the Who Got the Juice shit. Yeah. All and right. Was, so and I was building Who Got the Juice up while I was, while I was at Hype City. All right. Well, yeah. we're going to start from Hype City then. Yeah. And we're going to take oh, this in yeah. chrono, chronological order. Ooh, I said a big word when I was drunk. Chronological Oh, man. But well, nah, bro. all right. So tell me, how you get involved with Hype City then? Um, Gliz. Gliz. Um, he Gliss, man. gave me Good the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Shout um, out to that brother. He hit me up. He's like, "Yo, actually, it was the first. It was the interview. Uh-huh. They interviewed me that night. Uh-huh. And Gliz was like, "Yo, that was a good interview." He's like, "Yo, would you like? I mean, you mind like just like pulling up, like just pull up, like like whenever." Okay. I pulled up the next week. He was like, yo, you want to do these interviews with me? <laughs> That's it. It was out of there. That's what happened. That's his history. <laughs> That's, his history for sure. That's what happened. Yeah, I mean, Eli was there. You know yeah, I mean? Eli was a big him help. Too. And he kind of like, he, he jumped in and, and kind of was like a mentor. Him and Edrill. Okay. Because um, I was at a dark, I was in a little bit of a dark place at the time. I was kind of doubting myself on a lot of shit. Because mm-hmm. you know what I mean? At one point in my life, I was here. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I felt back a few levels. Yeah. But I learned a lot from it. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I'm and I'm happy to have two people who are older than me, mm-hmm. but still could understand where I came from. Uh. And I could clearly take in the knowledge that they were trying to give me. To help me correct my wrongs and how to become better yeah. as a person, right. as a producer, as an engineer, as a manager, as a as a whole in my career. And um big ups to them, yo. Shout out to them. Shout out to Eli Cini and shout out to uh Edro, man. Yeah, Over at Hype City Glitz yeah, yeah, too. To them, man. Shout out, shout out to them shout brothers, out. man. You yeah, know, friends of the show, friends of the show, man. You know but um so Working with Hype City, that got you into more of the behind the scenes in the yeah. game and shit. Yeah. So uh, you start work, start doing uh, Who Got the Juice, and that's like a blog page. I see that shit everywhere, yeah. man. I didn't <laughs> even know that was you, man, for a minute. I'm like, damn, yeah. that's you? I kind of took a break from it because um, it was hard. I was doing everything by myself. Right. Now I got Big Roll Shit over here. Yeah, Big <laughs> Roll Shit in. You know what I'm saying? Shady He's still in the, the building. Uh, we about, we about to uh, kick it back up, and we uh, teaming up with Dope TV. All right, you damn, I mean? we yeah, yeah. Damn, Dope I TV. love it. Keep yeah, the yeah, ecosystem yeah, alive, yeah. baby. Work together. Yeah. We all can get this shit together. Cuddy you know TV too. Oh, okay, Cuddy yeah. Cuddy TV too. We fuck shit. with Cuddy too. Yeah, shout out to Cuddy. Is, man. I mean. I fuck with Cuddy. Soundboard up. I gotta get around the parts, man. Shout yeah, out man. Everybody. Shout out to everybody doing. Shout out to everybody in the Tri State area that's just, just keep working, working, man. Yeah, that's because all we gotta listen, do. Bro. What niggas need to learn is like everybody can't be the fucking rapper, bro. Yeah. Are yeah. we gonna build our own fucking ecosystem? We yeah. gotta have media. Like I said, we Actors. need somebody gotta get the but fucking we need venues. Yeah. We need the media, the venues. I think if shit, if it wasn't for COVID, artists. that shit on uh, Broad Street, I just got a car from them the other day. I was gonna call them, but that shit, I don't know the COVID shit. They shutting everything down. Yeah. Close at mm-hmm. ten o'clock. Fucking venue, you wanna what show you wanna shit, go to? I hope this over fucking. I hope this shit don't affect the fucking shows on Saturday. They said the casino is in yours. Be open. You know what I'm saying? Well, y'all's mm-hmm. is over the bridge, so y'all might be straight. They said the casino is going to stay open, so that's a good thing. Oh, Shout yeah, out to the casino. And it's in a, it's in a, it's in a, yeah, I mean. Uh, yeah, 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 I, I yeah, know we know what that means. Keep that yeah, 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 it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's a disclosed yeah, location, yeah, yeah, man. Disclosed yeah, location, man. Keep your cock ass out. It's open, but I was going to say. The yeah. ops ain't going to come in. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 100%. They ain't going to fight. They're not getting up in there. That's a well, shame. Yeah, we really yeah. living like this out here, man. Niggas got to have underground rap shows and shit. Like, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Speak easy. Yeah. 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 Like, oh, man. Speak rap, yeah. yeah. rap shows. Like, you niggas not even doing nothing crazy. Yeah. All you want to do is rap. They got to on rap. Yeah. 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 Speak easy for rappers, man. Right. Like, niggas ain't doing nothing crazy in here. So you got involved with the media thing, right? After yeah. you was a um, 
You said you was a. You was it's who got trip. the juice? Uh, it was who got the juice TV? Yeah, who got the juice TV? All right. Um, what? I got a question about that. that. Go ahead. What you think was easier? Because building a media platform, as opposed to just doing interviews, you know what I'm saying? It's like a two totally different, but the same at the same time, you know? That's building your, a if, media oh, platform. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. It's kind Sorry of to cut you up. No, that's kind of the obvious platform. answer. Because um, mm-hmm. at one point in my career, I had a Twitter account. Um, it got hacked. Then it got sold like three, four times. <laughs> I had over... 300,000 followers. Damn. That's money right there, too. That's a fucking hurt piece is what that is. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. I, I lost some money. Yeah, I mean, I had a... Fuck you. Yeah. It fucked me up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah man. Yeah, Hell I mean, yeah. that's where all the money was coming from. All the money was coming yeah. from that Twitter account. And I made another one. And the thing about that type of shit is but you really can't even do much about it. I made the second account. I got 20,000 the first day. That's God, baby. That's all, that, all that is. God working like the first day. Then it built up, then it dropped. You know what I mean? Then it dropped, of course, because I stopped using it that much. I had a real life problems. Right. Absolutely. What do you see for, like you said, you're building it back up, like you're trying to get it back yeah. going again, everything yeah. is back in live. And, so in the, not, not in the end, but in the near future, what do you see like the, the whole platform that you got going with the collaboration, with mm-hmm. my man Sh- Bankroll Shady, like... What 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 where do you see this whole thing like really trying to blossom into? Like what's your vision for it? Never thought anybody was gonna ask me that question. But I'm happy you did. Try it's to gonna be old. like a media firm. I mean, it's, it's gonna be a big media platform. Um hopefully we can get it to a point to where we can get it to be an independent label. Oh shit. Or even a bank. Bank for artists? Bank for artists. That's thinking big. I like I, yeah. mean, I love that kind yeah. of shit. Oh yeah, bro. All you gotta do is do the work. That next level is really thinking small, bro. Yeah. yeah. That's, right, that's how you gotta hey, go. It's for under, un- underground artists. Yeah. Right. Not, not for no major artists. Yeah. Right. Not Definitely. for no major artists. Start well, yeah, it's cause it start start here. This is for motherfuckers who who ain't cracked yeah. five thousand followers on yeah. Instagram. For the motherfuckers who ain't cracking a thousand streams mm-hmm. the first night. Mm-hmm. I mean, because that's, that's what we all. Right, right, right. That's the goal for all of us. That's what we're here for. Yeah. At least yeah. crack a thousand the first night. I mean, and it's hard. It's rough. Yeah. It's you rough. know what I mean? But that also comes with being able to have that money and that backing, too. Right. That's because what, that's what, promotion that's what, is very, very, very key. You know motherfuckers, mean? you can't. And, can't tell a motherfucker who ain't been in this yeah. game long enough that, but I ain't mean to cut you off. I just wanted to say that. Yeah. You can't tell a motherfucker nothing about You'll be bullshit. surprised, like, how much labels actually spend on these artists and how far they'll actually go. Right. Like, they'll, they'll go as far. I'm like, I'm not going to say any labels. I'm not going to say any names, but mm-hmm. they'll go as far as to hitting me up just to post some, something on my fucking Instagram that only right. has 10,000 followers or right. post something on Who Got the Juice page which only has, like, 1,000 followers. Right. But... They go that far just to, to push you. you know I mean, to realize they tapping into a whole different network. Yeah. yeah. Damn. But I don't want to leave my man. I, I feel like you just sitting here. You feel right. me? Like I, I, I kind of want to talk to you too a little bit, bro. So what's y'all? How y'all link up? How y'all know each other? Really, I'm gonna do my brother. Yeah. He can't do. It. He's at my house for for like had no choice mm-hmm. type of thing. Now, I knew him before that. Like saw him at shows. My brother was in the music. For me heavy okay. heavy to go to his shows. That's who you were messing with. Right. The sons came to the crib a lot with the beats and stuff. Him, my dad, my brother, and I just started so talking with him. All right, all right, yeah. So real recognized, real. Oh yeah, you so, know how that go. You know how that go. So you got a lot of respect for the underground. You know how this shit works. So you said you moved a, around a lot growing up. Have you ever been on any of the other scenes, like the down south scenes, the North Carolina scenes? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, South Carolina scene was oh, well, very, at that time. The South Carolina scene wasn't even really a South Carolina scene. South Carolina right. was just South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers was just trying to rap, <laughs> yeah. and like you, like it wasn't no shows. Niggas wasn't really getting no shows. Yeah. It, was, it was, it was, it was ass. Bro. Oh yeah. At that time, at that time, it was ass, bro. Yeah. Uh, North Carolina, North Carolina had a scene. Yeah. North Carolina had a scene. North Carolina. Had a Dope scene at the time. Um, 
Damn. I got a cousin. His name is <laughs> his name is Chili Willy. <laughs> That's his rap name, Chili Willy. Oh man. Don't mind me. Keep going, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how long I'm going to still get you to silence. His name is Chili Willie. And, um, I don't know how long I'm going to still get you to silence. All right. I was wrong. But yeah, your cousin Chili Willie. Yeah, he'll be, be, at, he'll be at all the events with, with uh, niggas like Young Jeezy, T.I., uh, Boozy. All the Anybody who was somebody in the South. Yeah, in the yeah. South. Because they were all... Have to come through the Carolinas at one point. Yeah, I mean, to make Carolinas, that, yeah, yeah, it's a lot of there's a lot of big cities in the Carolinas. A lot of bags out. Really, there. really clean it's up. Nice clean. cities, man. Yeah, I like I like the Carolinas. I like really, definitely really want to do up. a couple of Carolinas. Listen, the South is alright. It's just so like it's just so different. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not a bad environment, but like when we went to Atlanta, like I just be thinking about how like. That was fun and shit, but it's just like so different. Like they they blocked the street off. Like yeah. the cops fucking it was a it was an event for the night, and the cops like blocked the streets off. Like so you're not really driving on these streets, and it's like it's going on out here. It's like mm -hmm. mad people flooded out here, but it's like a different type of flooded. It just feel different. That's all you know. Yeah. Same shit going on, but just different. But um, so what was one of your biggest moments like producing? Like what? What was one of the moments where you felt like, "Damn, I really did something in this shit," so far? <clears throat> like even from both sides, even the back playing the background or the producer shit. I produced a a, a parody record for T Wayne. T Wayne? Yeah. Oh, this is like shit. before. This is before the nasty freestyle and before he ever got signed or anything. Mm -hmm. um, Damn, I forgot all of that. And about. the song was called "Cup of Noodles." <laughs> Bro, lie to you not. I don't know about T Wing, but I don't know. I received like ten packs, maybe twelve packs of fucking boxes of cups of noodles. <laughs> Just cause y'all made that shit <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah and, it, and it went viral. Y'all went viral. All so I'm guessing you ain't fucking with no noodles no more, <laughs> like no, ever no, in life. Not. <laughs> nah, bro. Noodle out. Be top so was it a cup? <laughs> <laughs> they was a cup for the pack. It was a cups, bro. It was all flavors. It, it was all flavors. I had shrimp. I had beef. I had spicy shrimp. I had spicy beef. You got the exclusive. Oh, exclusive. <laughs> this was good as hell. And I had the vegetarian Jones as well. Yeah. Oh, then they got the. They was oh, yeah. So they, was, yeah, yeah. they was thankful as a motherfucker. Yeah. Like, Keep going, young brother. Yeah. yeah. But shit, that's what's up, man. All right, I like to get into, I like to help out my fellow artists out here. I'm an artist myself. I do a lot of music and whatever the fuck when I'm not podcasting. I like to get into the rapper scams, man. What's one of these scams that you had came across or somebody tried to run on you or you heard about somebody got caught up with? Because, you know, niggas out here is getting done dirty in this rap game. If you don't know what you're doing, niggas is trying to get verified. Mm. Paying like for fucking a band to get verified and niggas to just steal your account. And I've been hearing all kinds of shit. I like to just give some information to my fellow artists that's watching the show. One thing I want to say, I want to give my flowers to the niggas that really are doing anything and, and, and really helping artists. Yeah. Shout out to fucking Sauce Walker, oh, first yeah. and foremost. Yeah, shout yeah. out to Sauce Walker. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah, bro. In fact, I get, give him a round of applause for Sauce Walker. <laughs> <laughs> the sauce boss. You know what I mean? The sauce fam. Rap, Cause the rest of these niggas is playing these niggas. So yeah. Playing these niggas like dummies, so. Yeah. Shout out to Fat Joe. Yeah, you know I mean he's not yeah, I mean he doing his thing. Fat Joe, you know what I mean? Making sure, making sure niggas could get the right recognition. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Appreciate shit like that. That's yeah. dope. Like, yeah, man. Now the rest of these niggas <laughs> it's like Davies. Dang, these scam, these scamming niggas, bro. Yeah, bro. Like I putting these niggas on fucking mixtapes, on that piff, nigga. That piff ain't been hot since two thousand eight, nigga. Nigga, since Wiz, that shit ain't been hot since Wiz Khalifa was coming up. Don't, don't tell. That's not gonna excite me. You talk about that piff to me. I'm like, yo. The last, niggas, the, the last, too. the last crazy mixtape that ever dropped on there was that Meek Mill shit, the Dream Chasers, bro. When that nigga went like four times diamond on Can that bitch. You talking about number two? That yeah. was number two. 
No, nah, with the, the blue first one. one. Yeah, the, the first blue one was on that pick. Now they both was on that pick. They both was on that pick. I think yeah. the second one was the one that went up though. Yeah, because he, he yeah. said the last one. Because that, because it was after that, that three point yeah, five flamer shit. shit, and then DC shit was when he first got signed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that second one, I think that's had house party on it. Yeah. Fuck no, that was the first one. That was the first one. The second one had Amen man with. Oh, there you go. That's what it was. Yeah, man, that's like 2012 or some crazy shit. That's the highest. Shout out to Meek Mill run, man. So they put the streets need something. Oh, yeah. um, they put mix besides on that the Juicy J series, I mean, that's the only 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 mixtapes I know of that really really. I mean, I ain't seen nothing really like good. I mean, Cushion OJ went crazy, but and then ain't nobody that was like ain't nobody today I'm checking saying. for that piff because first nobody of all they at that his thing. ass. They yeah. ass. They wanted the yeah, shit don't They should have just straight went yeah. to on stuck it online because they like, ass terrible. Everybody got spin roller or they got fucking my mixtapes. Yeah, yeah, I got fuck with my mixtapes. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why y'all don't fucking that piff. Nah. And then y'all not, y'all, they don't even put it on live mixtapes. Like, how y'all gonna put on the mixtape sites and not put them on all the mixtape sites? Hey, bro. And then y'all don't even push the fucking mixtapes. Y'all promote that shit for a day and y'all done with it. Yeah. That's real fucked up. All right, y'all, 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 all right, cool. Granted, yeah, y'all put niggas on a mixtape and, and I guess you showed them love. Even though they had to pay for their slot. How many, after how many you, slots, after you, though? At the UDM, them talking about some, oh, yeah, I heard your song. That joint was fire. If you, pay me a th- if you pay, pay me a $1,000. <laughs> put you on my mixtape. How many slots is on them joints? It'd be like 20, 30 of them joints. Niggas is not listening to that exactly. 30 songs. I'm not niggas listening, listening to fucking niggas records, not listening bro. You know what niggas is doing, bro? Niggas going on there to listen to their mans yeah. and turn and that, turn that shit, shit off. Right. That that shit's not really helping niggas. It could be because you got some music fans out here that's going to listen to the whole drum. I just feel like you're not going to get that. But yeah. that fan that you talking about is not going to be on that pit. Exactly. You feel me? He going to be on title or something scrolling yeah. or, or, or Apple Music or or, or he going to be on my mixtapes yeah. or spin yeah. Yeah. or just on fucking YouTube or exactly. SoundCloud for real. For real, you ain't put the you ain't put the fucking mixtapes on fucking YouTube. You gotta at least put that shit on SoundCloud, bro. You ain't put them shit on SoundCloud. Because these niggas got SoundCloud ads. Yeah, niggas. Yo, there's some jewels that got SoundCloud. I ain't even know. Yeah, shorties fuck with SoundCloud. (laughs) You'd be surprised what you protect. Like when you start fucking like looking into it, you'd be surprised the demographics of some shit, man. Like you're really hell yeah, bro. I ain't motherfucking really hear about King Vaughn until like last year and some John. Was doing my hair like some Jones doing my hair, and she was just they just kept talking about this nigga King Von. I'm like, who the fuck is King Von? Right. <laughs> That's how I heard. I knew this about him just because like, he's yeah. one of the popular niggas. I don't, I don't know the popular niggas, but I heard about this nigga like like early last year, like. I'm like, damn. Dude, that's because business into that murder mm-hmm. shit. All right, we so ain't even gonna talk of, about that. Nah, we not. But I got <laughs> speaking of that situation, right? We don't get into a little dudes. I got a question for y'all. Everybody on the fan. Oh yeah, you not finished this? Yeah. We still, did, nigga. I, all right, all right, this is ahead. part of it, nigga. All right, nigga go ahead. You brought something up. I want to ask a question. <laughs> the nigga, they said the nigga Lil Dirk brought the nigga Quando Rondo let, uh, his show out of tables, and then the nigga canceled the show. Do you think that that was a smart move by him to cancel the show? To be like, nah, like just recently? Good. Yeah, they said this shit just happened. Damn. Like, week. like, yeah, yeah, yeah. This shit. Yeah, that's brilliant. true. Hundred percent smart to cancel your show, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> that is a smart like, yeah, move. bro. That's just... What makes you think you won't get shot? Like you just prove that you got a man that don't care about going to jail. Do you think they don't got a man or that, that's coming in prepared to do this now? So they're gonna do it way they smarter. That flew in for this shit. Dirk is gonna be <laughs> like they're gonna have Dirk right there to make sure he's not going out for murder if, if anything. He so, gonna be in the party. He's probably not yeah. even gonna be there. He might not even be there at yeah. all. So yeah. therefore. That's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to make see what niggas is at. They fucking around, have someone going there and shoot that shit up. The crazy the shit is, they said that shit was really going, already going bad for this nigga anyway because he was beefing with this nigga King Von. Who? Yeah. The, the boy Rondo, like yeah. niggas wasn't already fucking with him. It was young like, niggas on the King internet. Von, but for even for though, I don't know how much mm. weight you put into that. That's just niggas on the internet already. Just you know how that shit. Niggas stopped fucking with Quando and he said he put down his blue flag for for that green flag with young boy. That's yeah. when niggas start calling him milk and all that. Lost all respect. You for can't him. flip. You can't turn to no dolphin out in the streets. But we, we gotta get to the interview. That's a whole other conversation. That's right. a whole other conversation. Right. Gotta get back to the shit. I just wanted to make sure that everybody thought the way I thought. Right, I thought so he was very smart. Be like, mm. I'm not going to that shit. Think I'm gonna get whacked? <laughs> for what? Dummy? No. 
<laughs> All right, so we was just talking about rapper scams. We wrapped it up, man. Don't put your shit on that piff for like a thousand dollars, bro. That shit <laughs> to free. nobody. Not, it could be a favorite nobody. artist, and nobody don't Dang, just put, put yourself in your, somebody else's shoes. Like, no, do you listen to that piff? Promoter. Do you go on that piff? And listen bro, to random that, mixtapes. Give that thousand dollars to your your well, local your best local piff. promoter. Give that thousand dollars to your best local promoter and tell them go crazy. Uh, yeah, but um. All right, so you pro- you back producing again? You know that? Yeah, yeah. Always, All right, so always. if you had your dream artist to do a project with, like artists in the game, what artist would it be to, uh, to produce a whole uh, like an EP, a ten like a ten piece, an EP for ten it. piece? The thing that you think that'd be the perfect fit? That's gonna send you out of here. You see how much? Uh, mm-hmm. Like an EP, like an artist that you want to produce for, like a ten, a ten song John. But it could be any artist in the industry. That something that's like a you fit who for you. Want. Yeah, who you would produ- uh, who would he do a project with? Hmm. Some people ain't gonna like this answer, <laughs> but I'm gonna have to go with Meek. Like going meek? Yeah. Hmm. yeah, you do a fucking ten piece of meek. Forget about it, bro. You out of here. Because then yeah. they won't be able to contact you. Hey, right, like, bro, yeah. you might as well get a new phone, all that <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because meek going to flame the fuck out of them shit. Yeah, and, and the beat's going to be crazy. Yeah. Beats, I got a ten piece for him now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just wait. Just with his name on it. I, yeah. ten po- yeah. I got ten piece ready for him now. Yeah. I always got a clip loaded. Shit, that's a good pick right clip there. Loaded. Yeah, but, man. um... Bro, you going in with the uh Well you got another you got you got some more music or anything that you wanna play or that was the only track you wanted to play? Uh, well you got his John here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So let, let's get into that before we get into All right, let me pull it up. Let me pull it up. It's Bang Roll Shady. What, 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 what we getting into? You wanna introduce yeah, this John, man? Let it, the man. people know about this John. Oh, this John was on my um who produced this John? Yeah. John produced by sub. So oh, this yeah, John's you on already my, know. Wouldn't be right. <laughs> this John was on my last um mixtape. Uh, we're gonna see us, baby. Get that joint on platforms, title, Apple Music, YouTube, all that. Bank rule. I must keep saying bank. I gotta be saying bank rule. <laughs> bank bullshit. <laughs> you feel me? You mean just this? This one, the song that's on that joint. All right, all right we'll check get it. right into it. You feel me? <laughs> Get a dollar up on my profit. I'm saying he got it. And I say he got it. Hey, what it do, nigga? I put a hole in your top and say what he do for you. Bro, nigga, can't take you shopping. I got them bands getting busy. I got them hoes that running with me. I heard they talk by pockets. I told them niggas come and get me. Hey, what it do, nigga? I put a hole in your top and say what he do for you. Bro, nigga, can't take you shopping. I got them bands getting busy. I got them hoes that running with me. I heard they talk by pockets. I told niggas come and get me come Shot get blind, me. could he cash out? One of my pull ass on my ass out I'm a fuck with till she tap out Man, fuck a Uber, call the cab out Get on a nerve, she can't stand me Yo, boy, don't trap me too fancy Can't hold the strap, me too antsy I cop the whip to color candy I fell in love with Brain Moesha Bad bitch I ever had, couldn't keep it Had to cut it off, cause so you leech it Beth, believe me, boy, I don't need it I got bitches trying to kick it like FIFA Red, white, and blue, drip like Fila All summer, I'll be rocking the beat The 380, my jogger, Adidas Got check like Nike, that's likely Niggas hating, I can see don't like me, got a problem, little niggas just fight me. Y'all be joking if you see me, my white dick. In the trap, little dudes got bands. When I flex, I be sagging my pants. Bitches love me, cause I know how to dance. I can fuck with you, you ain't standing. Hey, what it do, nigga? I put a hole in your top and say what he do for you. Bro, nigga, can't take it shopping. I got them bands getting busy. I got them hoes running with me. I heard they talk about pockets. I told them niggas come and get me. Hey, what it do, nigga? I put a hole in your top and say what he do for you. Bro, nigga, can't take it shopping. I got them bands I'm getting busy, I got them hoes running with me I heard they talk about pockets, I told them niggas come and get me Got the juice, you can call me splashy I ain't cute, but I'm fucking with cashy Call a bitch, that ain't really get nasty Boyfriend mad, tell a nigga get at me I got young and hundred deep, they'll pack him OG's, bunch of judges on the nasty Getting money, try my own old factory Nine cops, but it got me a mastery Run up on me in the hood, I clap him You ain't getting to a thought, I cap it Trying to make a hundred mil, just rap it I don't make a hundred mil, I'm jacking it If I got beef, it ain't no problem If I see you, best believe I got you I got bros moving out to the product, that's all they know they ain't really no option Ricky G, that's the fame, gon' run it up Don't you talking about nothing, you ain't done up Bros can lean off the act, got a dub cup Me and bro was in the trap, trying to double up Feeling like me, trying to give me a ghost When I was the drugs, I be doing the most My young in the demon, my little nigga dose Don't fuck with the team, be letting it blow Hey, what it do, nigga? I put a hole in your top and say what he do for you Bro, nigga, can't take it shopping I got the bands getting busy I got them hoes that running with me I heard they
nigga I put a hole in your top and say what he do for you Bro nigga can't take it shopping I got them bands who getting busy I got them hoes running with me I heard they talk about pockets I told them niggas come and get me Ain't hey, what he do nigga I put a hole in your top and say what he do for you Bro nigga can't take it shopping I got them bands who getting busy I got them hoes running with me I heard they talk about pockets I told them niggas come and get me it's just different. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm about to hit him with some quick hits real quick before you get started, bro. God damn, do your thing, man. Listen, bro. Joe Biden won. Wow. Fuck Trump. But if you had them flags out here, keep that same energy, pussy. Yeah, wave them. Put them on. Oh, put them back on your truck. Put them back on your truck. Now you was fucking with Trump. You know what I mean? That nigga a little pump. Nigga went out bad. You know what I'm saying? That nigga lost mad followers and shit. I never met a person that listened to him, even though he got mad. I mean, the young boys, that nigga, the nigga went platinum or some shit before. Somebody like him. I, I don't know the nigga that like him. But never anyway. Never Oh, little pet, little pet, yeah, little pet, yeah, little pet. Oh, exactly. we got it. He's famous. Have you heard of him, yeah, little exactly. pimp? Yeah, but um, <laughs> all right, uh, that, nigga. Man. that PlayStation and that Xbox. I've been seeing cases of them shits blowing up online. You know what I'm saying? Niggas is doing bad out here. You nigga, you oh, dropped that. What's that? Seven hundred or something like that? It was like five. Like five? Yeah. Oh, them nice. shits is blowing up. Was it seven? I think I was early. early. Yeah, like five. God, That's how this shit always is, though. Every time a new system, if you buy electronics. Don't buy, buy the first, first batch. Lunch. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. What the fuck Never. is wrong with y'all? How haven't y'all figured that out yet? And then niggas been mad they didn't get the first batch. Like, what y'all retarded happen? Oh, Every time we come out, shit always break. Happen. And now Every niggas time. on the internet, they shit smoking and niggas shit. Niggas don't like, remember the ring, yeah, ring of death. That's why. Yeah, ring of death. Remember shit, niggas, remember someone said they shit blew up. Like, what? Yeah, and I'm And like on PS, like, it was like, I think it was PS2 or like Xbox 360. That shit was dumb as hell. That shit was like 750 when it first came yeah. out. Yeah. Dumb yeah. as hell. Yeah. Like, nigga, Xbox 360. Was, 360. Yeah, you 360. Know, you, if you know, like, but when I it came know, out, though, niggas was hype. Niggas was not asking their parents. Bring bring no. bring like, bro, you can forget about joke. that yeah, first batch. Bro, you can get that shit next. Give me the PS3. <laughs> you can get that shit next Christmas, nigga. I'm a PlayStation dude, but. PS3 compared to 360, yeah, it's really not a comparison. Yeah. 360 yeah. is way better than PS3. It was. it was. You know what I'm saying? But at that time... Now you asking your dad for the PS3. You asking your dad for the PS3. Because mm-hmm. your dad not buying the 360, bro. No. You got a job, nigga. He coming exactly. at you like that. Yeah. Like, that's how my pop was. My exactly. pop bought the PS3 and kept the bitch in the living room. I'm waiting till that shit going to sell. Like, yeah, you could play I wasn't it. getting that shit till it went on sale Black Friday the next year after that shit come out. You know, systems always come out in November. Like, every... Because mm-hmm. they come out for Christmas and shit. Right. So, nigga, I'm not getting that shit this year, nigga. I'm, like, I'm getting that shit when it went on sale motherfucking Black Friday the next year. But either way, if you are a nigga that argue with niggas on Pornhub comments, you are fucking sick. You're in a dark place. You need help. I go talk to somebody. I co-sign that message 100%. <laughs> me don't too. ask me how I know. I just I been doing want, research. I won't ask you because I don't want to know how you know. I just been, I, I see, I, I heard some shit. I seen some shit. <laughs> and like, bro, like. How you know? <laughs> well. I was <laughs> I was running through the streets with my woes on Pornhub, and I just happened to see niggas in the comments arguing. Like I'm mean, not even my woes. It might be my woes. I mean my dick. Oh, <laughs> but, but, but that's neither here nor there. But either way, I just seen I just seen some niggas really in there. The niggas, <laughs> I just seen niggas in there like 15 like niggas got they're like 15 comments in arguing. Uh, like bro, you gonna argue with a nigga you over, over white first of all like a porn video? <laughs> like, argue, yeah, bro. like fuck you. Like on some Trump shit. Like you think about Trump when uh, it comes to your dick action? <laughs> <laughs> you left that out. Your shit pick <laughs> I just oh happened to see. God. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's just one of the things like, bro, oh y'all God. niggas are in dark places. This bitch got a fat ass booty up in front of you that's getting baby oil. <laughs> you and you over here talking about Trump. Y'all talking about some election shit under the porn comments. <laughs> First of all, if you leave a comment, first of all, if you make a username on, <laughs> on a fucking porn site, you fucking crazy to leave a comment. That's first of all, if you make a username to fucking leave a comment on World Star, you fucking crazy. Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. You're getting flamed. <laughs> it's so like, wrong. bro. Comment. <laughs> but either way, 
Yeah, you you commit Turn the suicide. fucking comments off these pornos. <laughs> you, you doing? You committing suicide? What the fuck Come are you thinking on. about to be like <laughs> Trump twenty twenty under some porn? Right. <laughs> bro, this shit is nuts, bro. That's funny as shit. Shout out to Trump and his merch game, but that shit is over. Oh, Man. But um, either way, man, everybody gets this this uh, next segment. All right, man. All right, so listen, man. This is like our little segment to like to uh, get to know the guests a little bit. We call it rapid fire. You know what I'm saying? So what we're gonna do is ask y'all three questions. We're gonna ask y'all each. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna start with the guest sub zero. Number one is you know what I'm saying you got all the money in the world, but you don't got all the time. You only got 24 hours. You feel me? You get to do. Keep all, keep whatever you done with. You feel me? Not, but once it's over, it's like Cinderella glass slipper. Shit is lit while you got it, and you can make the moves to make shit shake while you got it. But once it's over, it's over. What you doing with that time and that money? Bitcoin. I only got twenty four hours, right? Yeah. Bitcoin. Okay. How, How much do you get? Oh, unlimited. It's unlimited. It should disappear after the 24 hours, though, if you ain't spend it. Definitely buying 100 Bitcoins. Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Buy me definitely a crib. You spend it. Yeah. It's unlimited money. Yeah. I mean, definitely buy 100 Bitcoin. Buy me a crib. A couple cars. I mean, if I buy me a couple cribs, a couple yeah. cars, get storefronts. I'm just going to go. I'm buying everything. Just keep money generating all that. That's going to be worth some shit. A couple pounds. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, mm. you ain't wrong. Nigga. You ain't wrong. Got, he ain't lying. Like, he ain't lying. Like. Shit. Twenty-four right, so, hours. Shit. Yeah. What? I we can still go to Mexico and get some pesos. I could do this shit. Pesos? Twenty-four hours ain't a little bit of time pesos. when you got all the money in the world. Yeah, you can fly around. <laughs> yeah. All right, so y'all, y'all, y'all doing that? Y'all spending y'all money? Y'all living? Y'all, y'all doing y'all shit? You feel me? But yeah. when you doing shit. You got to have some music, you feel me? Like, oh, every time, almost every time in life you're doing shit, you got to have music, you feel Listen me? Listen to Juicy J. But, he got one album, though. Just one. Nothing else. Oh, oh. um, Just one album. Blue Dream and Lean 2. Okay. Oh, yeah, that shit was fire. <laughs> no, I remember that Blue shit. Blue Dream and Lean Volume 2. Blue. Bro, How about you, no, bro? no interruptions, but why the fuck do everybody hate Blue Dream right now? Because it's so played out. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's, that's really what it is. Old. Blue, remember when Blue Dream really came out? We was young as hell. Yes, we was just we were just getting grown when yeah. that shit came out. Uh, right. This is before bands would make a dance. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's a fact. This was oh, yeah, question. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make your job. <laughs> Damn son, where'd you get this? Yeah. I gotta use yeah. that to spend my money. That's number one. So I gotta be nice. That that it gotta, gotta be that box. Different type of yeah, word is fun. See, you guys for albums like that's hard. Like yeah, one yeah. album, like just one album. Yep, it's hard to pick one album. Like Blue Dream of Lenny got all back to back to back to back to back to backs. Think talk about something I still fuck with to this day. It's okay if you take your time because it's not an back easy to question. Back to back to back to backs. Juicy J. It's not an easy question. Back to back to back to back to back. I'm trying to think who gonna have me. You see new the drugs. Juicy J came. <coughs> he came. Honest to God. <laughs> honest to God. Crazy. At that moment, if I had to pick one album, I could pick one album. And I can't like really go through different like shit. It's gonna be, and I'm doing it because I'm spending a lot of money. And I'm gonna be having it. Gonna have to be fucking <coughs> Meat Mill Flamers 2.5. Oh, 2.5? Flamers? That's uh, that's yeah. shocking. The, the, the point five. on sour, <laughs> sipping on shit. Now nah, that was two. I don't think that was point five. Wait, uh, did two point five or two? Which one? Is two is the two point five ain't that work. Two is that work. Two is the work. Yeah. You, what two point five? That shining was like a lamp. That was that shit that he dropped like after two. two no, I need. It was four. hard, but it wasn't two. Well, what was on two point five? What John had? Flamers two is all hottest in the city. Yeah, two point five half hottest. Now that's two. That's two. That's two. That was two point five. I'm remember. so fly. Yeah, I, I, I don't even remember. I'm so fly was on too. Yeah, that's how. That's what I'm thinking about. I I'm could talking be wrong. about how does this thing? I'm talking about 
Uh, Rose Red. Red was on 2.5. Yeah, Red, 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 Red was on 2.5. Oh, that might have been 2.9. No, I yeah, was number yeah. three. Yeah. Speed of Light and shit, that's on 2, right? Then it was on 2.5. Yeah, 2, 2, 2 was on Speed of Light. Rose yeah. Red was on 2.5? Yeah, it was on 2.5. Yeah, that three. might be. Yeah, that might be right. The remix was on 3 with T.I. I think, yeah, then I'm fucking with 2 then. All right. Yeah, yeah that 2 was crazy. 2 was a classic. Man, cold, niggas cold. Niggas was out doing a whole bunch of shit they wasn't. One. Bro, every, oh, 100%. Every time rat, I with rap, come on, man. Every time I think about Flamers 2, that just makes Meek me. Meek Mill was way better underground until he got once yeah, he got so on. Definitely once he got on. Back in the day. Yeah, yeah, I, rat, I can see myself now. Let's do the money. But now we can't get the sidetrack. I got to ask the last question. All right, yeah, yeah. I got to ask the last question. So, you motherfucking, you got your, you spinning your bread. You doing what you're doing. You got your music bumping. But you know that niggas like to get dressed, you feel me? Niggas like to throw that yeah. shit on, you feel okay. me? Uh-huh. You get one pair of kicks. Mad flavors, one pair of kicks. What you going with? This is why I like the rapid fire, because it make a nigga just be like, Ooh. Tim's. <laughs> you know, just gonna do the butters? The butters, the straight butters? Like oh, you get mad flavors. Oh, you get mad flavors. Tim's. Um, all flavors. All colors. The Wamper Stompers. Okay, what you rocking with, bro? <laughs> I would feel like it's like, when I say Nike Air Max. Dude, oh, that's that's a year. That's the first. That's a. You're stomping me on my stompers. If you do Air Max, you got to pick a year. You got to pick like, you got, like, like, go. like, 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 like a Like a 95, yeah, like a 95 a 90. 98. Yeah, yeah. Damn, he stomped me on my stomper. I would never <laughs> thought about an air because this is a lot of fucking that kind of air maxes. Like a lot. I ain't gonna hold. It'll probably be Air Max is 270. Mm-hmm. Most likely. Okay. Okay. Two seventies. But then again, you said multiple flavors. Yeah, you get all flavors. Like, it don't. Unlimited flavors. Like, it don't even matter. Like, that, you could, it could be some <laughs> Nike DX type shit. It's either yeah. that or. Either going to be that or some Jordan 1s. Because yeah. with Jordan 1, all different flavors and that joint sturdy. Yeah. No matter oh, what yeah. flavor you got, you going to be all good. Right. Yeah, man. A, a different. Yeah, flavors of Jordan 1s. Is I almost bought me another that's pair this of Jordan 1s today. That's this nigga. That's this nigga. Oh, I got that. like four pair of Jordan 1s. I'm about to just, that's about to just be my only sneakers I got. <laughs> and just all colors. Like. I'm trying, I'm trying to think less. Like I don't even trying to think about the fuck I'm putting on. But well, yeah, man, that's rapid fire. Person, you know, that's what we get sneaker. to. That's oh, what yeah. we do to get very to you know a little, sneaker. a little, 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 little get to know the guests a little bit more than you know the average interview. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Get a little bit of perspective on what y'all like. So shout out to rapid fire. Shout out to y'all brothers who participated. You understand what I'm saying? Fuck with that. Man. Yeah, like but that. um, shit, man. We gotta get yeah, into we got, it. Yeah, we got one another segment. Yeah, right? we got another segment. On to the next segment. It's uh, the classic one. The time you've been waiting <laughs> is fuck out of here when Rogan and Bree. Yeah. You got damn right. All right, so check this out, right? This nigga, Mr. Mur Mur Murphy, got to chill out on his shit, baby. I, here, I, I, I know I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. So let me just introduce because we didn't get the uh, problem. This is fuck out of here. This is the time in the week where if you feeling like a motherfucker's on some bullshit, man, get the fuck out of here with all that. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You feel like a nigga was acting funny. You feel like a bitch. Whatever. Anybody. So for me, like I said earlier, this nigga Mur Murphy is fucking up my easy money. I'm finally getting nice at these drinks. I'm like, I don't got to look at the recipe book and shit. I'm finally getting on my shit. What he do? Say you can't sit at the bar. Say the bar closed at 10. Nigga, get the fuck out of here, Mr. Murphy. I need a couple. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad you sat down because we need him. Yeah, you bad, motherfucking bro. raggedy bitch. Hey, nigga, get the fuck out of here. Listen, bro, if niggas is going to be sick, they going to be Water, sick, bro. Water. So what are you going to do if they're sick? They're going to be sick. It's nothing that we could do. You niggas ain't even got a shot for this shit. And y'all worried about... Who can do what when they trying to do it? Don't get me wrong. I know the numbers are spiking. I get it. I understand. I'm completely aware, of matter of fact, because I work into the shit and I got to know what's going on. But you niggas is fucking up my couple dollars. I don't like when they fuck with my couple dollars, man. It's easy money. You can go in that bitch, boop, boop, bing, and then you out of there. Hands washed. You made a couple dollars for the day and it's over. Nah. Now you got to sit at a table. You got to sit in the booth. You got to wait. 
fuck out of here. Going down to part time in my job, and I'm going to get me a fucking hustle. I'm done with this shit, bro. Y'all <laughs> niggas is playing with me. Fuck out of here to Jersey with these dumbass rules. Fuck out of here to all this Corona <laughs> shit. Fuck out and of fuck here. out of here to Mur Murphy, man. I'm done with it. Fuck out of here, man. Mm, yeah, pretty much, man. Yeah, you gotta get this shit the fuck out of here. But who I'm gonna get the fuck out of here this week? Oh, God, here, your man, AB, Adrian oh, Broner, man. Jimmy. Bro, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? Stop trying to prove the niggas you got money. We get it. You was rich. You you probably lost your bread. Like this nigga was like this is, nigga was in court getting sued and shit. Gonna say he only got thirteen dollars in his bank account. Then niggas was clowning him. This nigga gonna go on Instagram like, oh, somebody gave me some money. He got a big ass stack. Then start showing all his motherfucking all the money he spent from all his joints. Like all his uh, bank account statements, like yeah, I spent one hundred thirty thousand last month. I did like, bro, you letting motherfucking the internet get you caught up. You in court, about to get sued and all types of shit. You trying to, I ain't broke. I ain't like, bro, like what is you on, bro? Like black Nick, like. Black people gotta stop doing that shit. And actually, it ain't even just black people, say, bro. It's niggas. everybody now. Niggas do anything for the clout. Like, bro, you really in court. That's why you can say niggas, because niggas ain't just black people. Yeah, oh, definitely not. I know some white niggas. Some niggas out here going for here. Trump and doing all that, doing all going bonanzas and shit for Trump and shit. They on some motherfucking nigga shit. They just don't know. They on some they white niggas. They shit. don't even know. They on some white nigga. He's yeah. a white nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like my nigga Dave Chappelle talking about he's working for me, not you. <laughs> like he got it fucked up. But either way, man, fuck out of here to Adrian Broner. I mean, hopefully that nigga can get a boxing match or something going. Yeah. Like he's doing through mad hoops to fucking prove he ain't broke. Like bro, nobody really gives a fuck. Niggas that cl- niggas is just gonna clown you on the internet regardless. Now niggas is just clowning you because you dumb as shit. I don't have no sympathy for niggas like that. Man, I'll cry up because he be getting his ass beat down. He don't be one of Right. Bro. I got money. <laughs> like, I, I, don't, I don't have no sympathy for niggas like AB. You talk all that shit. You get beat up. You get what? sued and showing money on the internet. Like, what is your, what is your makeup? <laughs> what is your DNA? What is your makeup? But, like, like bro, what? Uh, who was the last nigga? He fought, like, Pacquiao or some shit, right? Or when he got beat up last yeah, time? It was Mandela. It was who? Talk about the boy that... You talk about the, no, nah, he, he fought somebody about, more recent than that. We got beat the fuck up, right? He lost like he lost like three, four fights after that. Like, yeah, in a row, in a row. yeah. <laughs> but I know like one after one of those, he lost. He's like, yeah, I still got money though. Like, bro, what the fuck that mean to a boxer? A like, nigga that just knock you the fuck out. You don't Same care. You got, got money. money. Like the same person who got money. <laughs> right. That got more money than you. Like, hey, one hey fight. buddy, guess what? Right. I got money too. <laughs> and I just knocked you the fuck I out. I paid to knock you the fuck out. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> like, bro, dumb as shit. But anyway, man, shout out to him. Hopefully he get it the fuck together. I, I don't I don't understand what be wrong with me. But uh, yeah, that was uh this week's segment. Oh, actually, before we get out of here, anybody y'all wanna get the fuck out of here? Y'all want to hear anything? Y'all see anything? Or just niggas in general that you want to get? Keith Honestly. Brown from the Baltimore Ravens. God damn. What he do? What Hollywood do? This nigga Hollywood Brown wanted to get on Twitter with his little Twitter fingers. I'm pretty sure y'all seen it. It said, um, yeah, what's the point of having soldiers if you don't use them? Well, nigga, if you catch the ball. <laughs> <laughs> If you catch the ball, maybe Lamar don't got to run. Maybe he'll throw the ball at you. Hollywood Brown, you good for one play a game, two plays a game. Don't act like you crunch time, ten plays a game receiver. Let's not do that. But you right. That was on what? Peyton Fool or some shit? What? Well, uh, if you was going to have a soldier if you don't use it. Yeah, that was on Peyton Fool. Yeah. 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 Rico. Yeah, but Rico was a soldier, yeah. nigga. Hollywood Brown is a pass dropper. It's a exactly. bit different. It's a bit different. I nigga, no sir, right. Aguilar. Fuck. What about you, man? You got somebody you want to get up out of here, man? As far as this week, or in general, I'm about to say, no, I'm saying as far as this week, only because I just been on, been on my mind, get people out of here. <laughs> but I say, like, let me see. I'm not going to say no one personal, but as far as, I'm going to say the same thing we were talking about. I'm really going to say, all the people who talking when the King Von and Quando situation like and all the people there. like that saying like I don't know like I'm say like I'm just keep it being the people who mad at Quando Rondo all the strength because his man's shot King Von I need to get the fuck out of here and in the same day oh, King Von presents himself to be this from the top goonies you feel me yeah. he, he you know does this he shit. does that me, he they start fighting. So at the end of the day, like, all right, he got shot. That's fucked up. But 
Unless you just wasn't a fucking Quano Rondo fan, like I, you was, you was, you fuck with Quano Rondo. Now you're not fucking with him because, uh, cause of him, uh, King Von got shot. But what you think was gonna happen next time? Is it gonna be one of, one of him or one of them? Yeah. At the end of the day, sooner or later they will start chopping Quando and them. Yeah. Even if they would have whooped their ass, they would have start chopping at them. Just, just because they whooped their ass. So let's yeah, shoot them right. now. Yeah. Like, come on, now niggas, niggas doing this. That ass empty <laughs> shit ain't for gangsters. Sympathy yeah. ain't for yeah, gangsters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I'll stamp that statement right there. <laughs> for real, for real. I'll that stamp shit, that statement if, right if, there. If, the nigga was really, if the nigga King Von was really living how nigga said he was living, like, nigga, this is, like, bound to be the end of your story. Like, bro, this yeah, is, like, like, like we seen it mad times. Like, bro, this is what comes with that shit. Like, he just dropped his album. Had one of the most, on. one, one of the most disrespectful songs on that album. Yeah. This and everybody yeah. did. But the nigga Duck did the same shit. Exactly. I, I, I'm like, yo, y'all Chicago niggas is really, like, just But that just tells you. Wired they they wired. had their time. Yeah, they wired. That one of his top ops. And this, and they only died a couple months between each other. Mm -hmm. Not no duck died and Von died two years later. No, they died yeah. within a couple yeah. months. That yeah. shit, not yeah. that yeah. shit, just that shit was just too like. Scary, and they man. didn't want Von to get by. He didn't even get shot by the niggas in Chicago. He got shot somewhere totally different. With some totally different, different niggas. Yeah, yeah that's just life. Like, he probably had no idea. He should have. Feel me. He, he saw that video, that that dead choice video. I mean, niggas yeah. be thinking people be playing too much. That shit be yeah. Y'all yeah. y'all getting touchy. That shit, that shit be wild. I can't get into all that shit because I ain't no gangster I ain't in the streets. I go to work, baby, but I ain't no mm -hmm. bitch. That's how I carry it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's all that is. But yeah. these niggas play a different game in them streets, boy. They talk about anybody and say anything. Yeah, yeah that shit just not even cool. Like they smoking on niggas. Dead like people homies. got that step, and like, my brother said this. Shout out my bro Lee. That smoking on pack shit. That shit really gotta stop. That's niggas true. gotta yeah, stop dude. with that shit. Especially Maybe. niggas that's not even involved with involved that shit. Involved in it, like yeah, y'all niggas is weird, go, bro. bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Like it is. I mean, you got a certain disrespect for niggas. I, 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 I understand. If you feel the type of way, cause this nigga done killed your man before that, yeah, nowhere he yeah. get yeah. whacked. You, then you, 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 you happy? Like yeah, I'm smoking on this nigga, but at the same time. You gotta be a grown ass man. That's what like, I, and that's where I'm. That man from. got a mom. That man got a grandma. Yeah. And, and not just his homies that you're talking to. Like you're talking and, to a whole bunch. And it'll be a nigga in like fucking North Dakota or something. Like we smoking that Vaughn yeah. pack. Like bro, what are you fucking yeah, talking that about? Nigga need to get fucked out of here. Yeah. Like, yeah. You, yeah. 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 you won't even bend the corner in these neighborhoods. Yeah. Right. Like, you will not. A bitch. I'm yeah. A bitch. Yeah. Live by the sword, you die by that shit. I hate to say it, but like bro, that shit was like part of your story, bro. The way if if you really. Was living how niggas niggas is talking about ain't King Von no had ain't no 27 if. like 27 bodies and nut shit like just nut shit ain't no way that nigga was in the mix bro yeah nah that shit on clever records yeah yeah, yeah so, beat bodies yeah that's yeah. what I'm saying nah, like he do be like it, no fish no, no, no yeah, type yeah, shit yeah, so does. if you really living like that bro that's like in Chicago like, he probably not even he just hate to see it go down down like that you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. like no I did like it was just fucked up cause it's just some damn like that nigga really died and then you see him get shot. Just how he talks, you would think, oh, he ain't going to die from that. Like, even even the people said, like, as the manager said, he died. He really died from surgery because he was in the car. He told the people to slow down when they were speeding. Like, oh, slow down. Mm -hmm. You feel me? We, um, I'm good. Just, I mean, just, just take your time, get to the hospital. But he died during surgery. Them niggas, them doctors, either, either too much, like, too much um, yeah, trauma yeah, or yeah, yeah. Some, hey, some did something to him, maybe. Might try to get that nigga out of there. Yeah. Rest in peace to that. Yeah, rest in peace to King Von, man. Man, if you an artist and you fucking really taking off, bro, try to learn something from that shit. I don't Please. know. Because, like, a lot of niggas is just be in the streets and then next day they know they famous. So you can't even really fault them for that shit. But I don't know. Try to learn something if you yeah. out here. That's like all Gilly, I can say. I can't even. Like Gilly said, man, it's cool to get old. Yeah, yeah, it's mm -hmm. cool. Hell yeah. It really is. It look good. You know what yeah. I'm saying? When you, when you, you done seen everything. Like, oh, I know this night. I know what's about to happen. But a lot of these niggas on. was in the mix. Like they're saying, like the same shit, like Pop Smoke. Like nigga, he was in the mix, and then he just got famous. So that shit don't go away. Nah, like, never. Don't, yeah, yeah. No. yeah. But the way time. it just be the yeah. way that see, it's just because the way that it, it go it because go. it don't be related. It you don't know what be saying? related. That shit, it be something that happened after they got yeah. on. You know what I mean, like it just that freak accident type shit. Yeah, it's not really like don't go. It's not like it is right. It don't go away. It's not really the same issues gonna go away. But your Karma. You don't yeah. go away. Yeah, you, yeah. you still gotta pay for that. You like you yeah. karma you know and how you, you act. You know the same you thing you did out there to get the same reactions. 
you gonna come into the game, do the same type of shit to get the same reaction. Yeah. By sure. different niggas. Like you Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, man. But, but you know before, before we get out of here, we'll do our um last segment. It's called Would You Rather? Is when I ask you, Would you rather, nigga? Would you rather do this, would you rather do that? <clears throat> so we're gonna start with the homie sub zero. All right. Keep it a bean. Would you rather lose your elbows or your knees? <laughs> Your elbows? Yeah. Why are you gonna be you gonna be good with this shit? Yeah. You ain't gonna be you gonna be out here with some scarecrow shit. Look, man, as long as I can shoot. Yeah. That's the point. We good. <laughs> <laughs> what my about baby, you, bro? My baby will feed me. What about you, bro? Elbows and knees. What you which one are you losing? Boy. <laughs> <laughs> you want the straight legs or the straight arms? Damn, hold up. I might have to take that back. I might have to get rid of the knees. Like, yeah. I, I, can, I, can, I, can, I can do a lot. Like, I can't roll me? up. Yeah. I'll fuck around and do this. Dude, yeah. I can't bend and do shit, but <laughs> you can't really do it with your arms. But you got... Nah. nah. <laughs> so you're going to lose the knees. Yeah, I might have to lose the knees, but you can't, right. can't do no yeah, sports, yeah. though. That's the only thing. You think you about to do something active? <laughs> he doing no. that shit. Nah, yeah, you ain't gonna At shake. least I could play sports. I just can't jump, catch. How your jump, <laughs> jump shot going to be crazy if you got no knees. Nah, you shit like this. Well, you shit with no elbows, though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like this with the ball. Ain't no <laughs> just tossing that shit. Yeah, like, like, yeah, 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 real red. What's up, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, next, John. Would you rather be able to stop time or be able to fly? Superpower. Stop time. Stop time. What about you, bro? Fly because you can't stop time. No, I mean, if you had to pick. To fly. Superpower. Are you going to be able to fly? All right, why would you uh, stop time? Time will fly you with you got. All right, when you say stop time, how you mean it? Like, you pause the shit. And I'm the only like one click. moving. <laughs> Adam Sandler shit. Yeah, just go do what you want and then unpause it when you get you just fucking definitely stop time. Yeah. Fun. Boy, I can rock Binks. <laughs> oh fucking man. <laughs> you feel me? Someone someone but stop it. Someone might be might be about to get shot to stop that thing last deep. You feel me? Alright. With the bullet over her turning around. <laughs> All right, the next job, you'd rather be able to visit your ancestors in the past or visit your grandkids in the future, like go 100 years in the future or 100 years in the past. Visit my grandparents in the past. All right, pick up some game. They got to be just grandparents. Or they could be they, older. Yeah, yeah, like ancestors. ancestors. Yeah, yeah, anybody. Definitely. Going definitely, to their ancestors. Definitely. I know y'all watch Lovecraft I don't, Country. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I'm all <laughs> my shit, <laughs> you <laughs> heard. I'm going yeah, yeah. back there. Oh, oh, I, need to, back. I need to learn all that. Like, what's yeah. going like, what on? What the hell happened? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to see what happened to Atlantis. Like, what, where, where? I'm, what, I'm going back happened? then. I'm going back. Where is that? Where is that? Niggas know the truth more back then. Motherfuckers knew the truth about everything back then, I feel like. Yeah, oh, because yeah. it wasn't it wasn't yeah, so it wasn't like something. generations of lies yeah. being passed on and passed on. And All niggas, that truth shit was still fresh. And niggas had like more like natural senses and shit. Like you probably don't even know what the fuck like a person from like the eighteen hundreds, yeah. they could probably hear niggas in the next town or some shit. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because they say, like, we lost all our shit because of technology. Like, we, mm. like, you got to think, you don't even remember nobody phone number. Back Ish. in the day, you had to learn everybody phone number and keep that shit, in, like, in your head. Like, imagine how much shit we lost by having cable and cell phones and all that shit. They said, like, humans lose all their fucking drones as the years go with technology. That's because it keeps you in the house, too, for the most part. And it's doing everything for you. Sun drones yeah. is helping you out. I mean, it, it, it is drugs, drugs. technically. <laughs> like uh, social media, that shit a drug. Yeah. All that shit a drug. But um, damn, where I got I got off on the motherfucking tangent. All right, so they building some shit, world over. They building some underground city, 
under, I mean, under the ocean city mm. with like some big ass bubble shit, already building some shit on the moon, like some city in a big ass bubble shit. Where are you going? You going to the moon or you going to the ocean? I'm going to the moon. Going to the moon. Fuck that underwater city shit. Bro. Yeah, you fucking with that <laughs> underwater city shit? Nah, bro. I mean, it seems different. So where nah, where you bro. going, bro? More things can happen in underwater city that what can happen up on the moon. You might get a couple of fucking asteroids and fucking comets come through every once in a while. But you under that fucking water, that fucking <laughs> bubble just just wanna act like it wanna crack. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying like you thinking like it's so low. Like, right? like how do you want to sure that thing is never gonna crack? I don't, it only need a tiny crack. I mean shit, the same shit can happen on the moon though. That shit, that and I'm pretty sure, right. and I'm pretty nah, sure they building an underwater city. Nah, they bro. make that shit deep because evidently something's gonna happen to the Earth where on top of the land can't be situated. And, and you, you gotta can't go like, and it can't be too. You close gotta go to like water. airplane yeah. status underwater. Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> type of shit like thirty thousand. You know how much pressure of water that is? Like that moon shit, not so far fetched, bro. Oh yeah, they, they about to send niggas to Mars. Oh yeah, what you call <laughs> the Tesla nigga? Uh, Elon they Musk. Send niggas to Mars, bro. He already we can survive with a moon. <laughs> that mean we. They, that mean we. They, the they moon already. Moon they, they mean anyways. they already found out a way for us to survive on the moon. Yeah, keep it a bean. They send niggas to Mars. That's what I will say. I, they probably already got that shit. They just yeah. know only the rich niggas know about like, it. Man, fuck the moon. We about to about to set up shop on Mars. <laughs> nigga can say on Mars. Uh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> they got a face on Mars. Yeah. Hell yeah. The last thing, the last thing I'm gonna ask you is, uh, would you rather know how you gonna die or when you gonna die? It's... Stumped. Probably how. How? What about you, bro? You don't know. That's a tricky question. Cause you learn out how you fuck around, learn out when. Yeah, you're going basically pin, pinpoint me to the right place. Oh, but anyway. it's gonna be vague as fuck, then, bro. It's gonna be yeah, vague, yeah. but it's gonna pinpoint you to the right. It might pinpoint you to the right place depending on how you die. It's like you'll be in an accident. Yeah, accident can happen any type of year, any type of year. If you yeah. said anything to deal with health, all right, not times not I was old. Yeah. <laughs> Same thing, like you got shot. Not times I was ten, it might happen in a couple of years. You feel me? <laughs> like. Type of shit like that. I'm gonna ask how. Cause if I know when, I'm like, what the? F-? Imagine I find out when that shit is tomorrow, what two the, days. days I'm gonna start bugging. I'm gonna be sick the whole two days. Not even gonna be able to enjoy. I'm gonna be thinking it. about. I'm, about I'm, I'm not. I'm, about, I'm not dying two days. Clearly. Yo, yo, that's word, it's gonna happen. Right. Like one thing I can say, deja vu is a motherfucker though. Mm-hmm. Cause I had some moments in my life where. I mean, I had a dream that I died, and I lived in that moment, and I lived because I fucking stayed away from the bullshit. Shit, you might get that. That might be your superpower. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't, I don't disagree with that. Cause uh, dreams is real sometimes. Moment. Yeah, yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah. So what? What was you? You said you don't. You, don't, you still don't know. Oh, I don't know, bro. You said you said you said you want to do how. That's scary, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we got how we got. Right, you they don't say know. shit like train, no, train yeah. accident. <laughs> Bad, no more train. <laughs> no more train. <laughs> Real right, just like, like me. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> not doing that. Mm-mm, but me, but we gotta take this train. <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you careful, sure? Dude. Right. Make sure you gotta be careful. Right. Sure. How many blocks? I'm a wall. Take this bitch slow. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I might have to go with how. <laughs> yeah, I could do that. Yeah. All right. Stay right away from that shit. But man, that was the uh, segment. Would you rather, man? This is OTS podcast. We got the homeboy Sub Zero in the building. We got Bank Boy Shady. We in here kicking it and we winding down. Before we get out of here, man, is there anything that you need the people to know? Any promotion thing y'all want to promote? Y'all social media. Uh, all that good shit. Everything. Any events y'all got going on, projects that's dropping. So, if God is um, merciful and uh, we're not on lockdown, we got another show coming up on November 28th. You know what I mean? It's Who Got the Juice Part 2. Yes, two weeks away. 
from the first event that's happening this Saturday. We All got right. Come coming right back at you. All right. And we're going to keep the fuck going. Yeah. But yeah. make sure if you're not doing nothing, if you're not going out the train, you don't feel like driving the train, side up. come slide over to Philly, man. It's $5 on Eventbrite. It's going to be $10 at the door. The prices might go up depending on how fucking, yeah, I mean, yeah, I've been to the last joint. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go check it out. Go I mean, fuck yeah. with it. Who got the juice of vet? Who got the juice, man? It's about to go down, man. Fucking, we got Bank Road Shady in a fucking building. Yeah, Bank Road Shady in the building. Right Definitely, bro. Yeah, you got projects. You got something coming. You got singles. What you yeah, got, got going projects. on? I got two mixtapes. Got one EP out right now. Feel me? Two mixtapes. First one, Cash Talk. Cash Talk Volume 1. On oh, Spin Real Hood. Not Spin I'm tripping on Title, SoundCloud, Apple Music. You feel me? Do you? Like I said, my second John, CS Baby. Want to check you heard earlier. It's another one of my projects. I just dropped on in May on my birthday, a little EP, Cash Talk Volume 2, Part 1. So that Cash Talk Volume 2 going to come real soon. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, shit, we out November 14th this Saturday. Make fucking sure Craig Lynch, fuck Beast on the Beach, Trenton, fucking uh, New Jersey Weed, man. I'm trying to lead there with some oh, pack. Yo, nigga. this nigga had Stoke. some, bro, my, my man's, I called my man's one day. He said, I'm about to go pull up on that nigga. So I ended up seeing him later that day. Nigga, I smoked some weed. I didn't have my mask on. My mask was down here. Mm. Nigga, I wore my mask. My mask smelled like tangerines. I'm not lying to niggas. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't lie to niggas. Had that good pack, weed. man. I'm gonna holler at New Jersey Weed, man, before I get up out of there, man. But I gotta a, find that strand. My boy's eight chasing me. My boy's eight chasing me. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, uh, uh, it's November 14th. New Jersey Weed Man's uh, spot. I think. The fuck is, isn't that shit called New Jersey Weed Man spot or some shit like yeah. that? Yeah. Look, New for Jersey, the, look for the trooper van out front. That's all you gotta do. Oh, uh, yeah. New <laughs> Jersey Weed Man spot. Uh, beat Battle Beast on the Beat. Craig Lynch, Stevie Franks, OTS Podcast, You're Overdose.com, fucking everybody, Gliz, Hype City, fucking this shit's going to be fucking crazy. Uh, We'll be there, man. Check us out, man. And this is another episode of OTS Podcast. We got the homie Sub-Zero in the building, Bank Boy Shady, and we out this bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night. Good night.